lest at any time my enemies say, I have prevailed against them. They that afflict me will rejoice if I am shaken. But as for me, I hope in thy mercy. My heart will rejoice in thy salvation. I will sing unto the Lord, who is my benefactor, and I will chant unto the name of the Lord Most High. And again look upon me, hear me, O my God, and lighten in mine eyes. Lest at any time I sleep unto death, lest at any time my enemies say, I have prevailed against him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto thee, just to make this Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Psalm 25 Sa iyo, Panginoon, itinataas ko ang aking kaluluwa. O Diyos ko, sa iyo ako nagkitiwala. Huwag nang akong mapahiya. Ang aking mga kaway sa akin ay huwag nang magkatuwa. Oo, huwag nang ang mapahiya ang lahat ng sa'yo ay naghihintay. Mapahiya na nga mga gumagawa ng sasatak sila ng walang dahilan. Ipinalam mo sa akin ang iyong mga daan, O Panginoon. Ituro mo sa akin ang iyong mga lundat. <coughs> Kain mo ako sa iyong katotohanan, ako iyong turuan, sapagkat ikaw ang Diyos ng aking kaligtasan, sa iyo naghihintay ako ng buong araw. Alalahanin mo, Panginoon, ang iyong kahabagan at ang iyong tapat na pag-ibig, sapagkat ang mga iyon ay mula panahonang kapanahonan. Huwag mong alalahanin ang mga kasalanan ng aking kabataan niya, ang aking mga pagtuway. Ayon sa iyong wagas na pag-ibig, ay alalahanin mo ako. O Panginoon, alang-alang sa iyong kabutihan. Ang Panginoon ay mabuti at makatarungan, kaya tinuturuan niya ang mga makasalanan mm-hmm. tungkol sa daan. Pinapatubayan niya ang mapagpakumbaba tungkol sa katwiran at itinuturo sa magpapakumbaba ang kanyang daan. Lahat ng landas ng Panginoon ay wagas na pag-ibig at katapatan para sa mga nag-iingat ng kanyang mga patutuo at kanyang tipan. Alang-alang sa iyong pangalan o Panginoon, ipagpatawad mo ang aking kasalanan sapagkat ito ay malaking tunay. Sino ang tao na tatakot sa Panginoon? Siya ang tuturuan niya sa daan na dapat niyang piliin. Siya mismo ay mananahan sa kasaganaan at aangkinin ang kanyang mga anak. At aangkinin ang kanyang mga anak ang lupain. Ang pakikipagkaibigan ng Panginoon ay para sa mga natatakot sa kanya at ang kanyang tipan ay pinapalam niya sa kanila. Palaging nasa Panginoon ang aking mga mata sapagkat mula sa lambat ay ilay niya ang aking mga paa. Manumbalik ka sa akin, ako'y kahabagan, sapagkat ako'y nalulungkot at nahihirapan. Kapagabaga ng aking puso ay iyong pawiin at sa aking kapanglawan ako ay amuin. Sa alang-alang mo ang aking kapigatian at kaguluhan at patawarin mo ang lahat kong mga kasalanan. Isa alang-alang mo kung gaano karami ang aking mga kaaway at kung anong marahas na po at ako'y kanilang pinamumuhihan. O bantayan mo ang aking buhay at iligtas mo ako. Huwag nawa akong ipahiya sapagkat nanganganglong ako sa iyo. Naway may ngatan ako ng katapatan at katwiran sapagkat sa iyo ako'y naghihintay. Tubusin mo ang Israel o Diyos mula sa lahat ng kanyang kabalisahan. Psalm 31. Psalm 31. In thee, O Lord, have I hope. Let me not be put to shame in the age to come. In thy righteousness deliver me and rescue me. Bow down thy knee unto me, make haste to rescue me. Be thou unto me a God to defend me, and a house of refuge to save me. For my strength and my refuge art thou, and for thy name's sake wilt thou guide me and nourish me. Thou wilt bring me out of the snare which they have hid from me. For thou art my defender, O Lord. Into thy hands I will commit my spirit. Thou hast redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. Thou hast hated them that cling to empty vanities, but I have hoped in the Lord. I will rejoice and be glad in thy mercy, for thou hast regarded my lowliness. Thou hast saved my soul out of necessities, and hast not shut me up in the hands of enemies. Thou hast set my feet in a spacious place. Have mercy on me, O God, for I am afflicted. My eye is troubled with anger, also my soul and my belly. For my life is spent with grief, and my years with groaning. My strength has grown weak in poverty, and my bones are troubled. I am become a reproach among all mine enemies, and greatly for my neighbors also, and the peers of mine acquaintances, that they saw me without fled from me. 
I am forgotten by the heart like a dead man. I am become like a broken vessel, for I have heard the reproach of many that dwell round about. When they assemble together against me, they devise to take away my life. But as for me, I have hoped in thee, O Lord God. I said, Thou art my God, in thy hands are my lots. Deliver me from the hands of mine enemies, and from them that persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servants, save me in thy mercy. O Lord, let me not be put to shame, for I have called upon thee. Let the ungodly be put to shame, and let them be brought down into Hades. Speechless be the deceitfulness to which speak iniquity against the righteous man with arrogance and contempt. How great is the multitude of thy goodness, O Lord, which thou hast hid for them that fear thee, which thou hast wrought for them that hope in thee before the sons of men. Thou shalt hide in the sorcery of thy presence from the disturbance of men. Thou shalt shelter them in the tabernacle from contradiction of tongues. Blessed is the Lord, for he hath made his mercy wondrous in the fortified city. But as for me, I said in mine ecstasy, I am cast away from the presence of thine eyes. Therefore hast thou heard the voice of my supplication when I cried unto thee. O Lord, ye love all ye saints, for the Lord requireth truth. And unto them that act with exceeding pride, he rendereth them their due. Be ye manful, and let your heart be strengthened, all ye that hope in the Lord. Awit 91, siyang naninirahan sa tiraan ng kalasasan ay mananatili sa lilim ng mga pangyarihan. Sasabihin ko sa Panginoon, aking mood at aking kanungan, aking Diyos na siya kong pinagtitiwalaan. Sapagkat ililigtas ka niya sa bitag ng manililo at sa nakamamatay na salot, kanyang tatakpan ka ng mga bagwits niya at sa ilalim ng kanyang mga pakpak ay mga luka. Ang kanyang katapatan ay baluti at panangga. Ang mga nakakakilabot sa gabi ay di mo kakatatakutan niyang panay na nagliliparang na pag-araw, niyang sarot na nilim na bumubuntot sa kadiliman, niyang pagkawasak sa, na sumisira sa katangalian, mabubuhal sa iyong tabi ang isang libo, sa iyong kanin ang tampung libo, ngunit ito'y hindi lalapit sa iyo. Mamamasdan mo lamang sa pamagitan ng iyong mga mata at iyong makikita ang paruso sa masama. Sapagkat ikaw, O Panginoon, ay aking balungan, ang kataas-taasan bilang iyong tahanan. Walang kasamaang dating sa iyo, walang parusang lalapit sa tolda mo, sapagkat siyang magbibilin ng kanyang mga anghel tungkol sa iyo, upang sa lahat ng iyong mga lakad ay ingatan ka. Sa kanilang mga kamay, dadalig ka nila, baka sa isang bato'y matisod ang iyong pa. Iyong tatapakan ng liyon at ang ulupong, tatapakan mo ng iyong pahangas at batang liyon. Sapagkat siya ay kumapit sa akin na may pag-ibig, ililigtas ko siya. Iingatan ko siya sapagkat ang aking pangalan ay nalalaman niya. Siya ay tatawag sa akin at sasagutin ko siya. Ako'y magiging kasama niya sa kabalisan. Sasagipin ko siya at pararangalan ko siya. Aking bubusugin siya ng mga abang buhay at ipapakita sa kanya ang aking pag-ilikas. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to the O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to the O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to the O God. Lord, the mercy, Lord, the mercy, Lord, the mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Open the curses, please. Thank you. All right. God is with us. Let us continue now with sweet melody. <coughs>
weaker, strengthen your, uh, yourself. Ye shall again be vanquished. For God is with us. And whatsoever counsel ye shall take, the Lord shall bring it to naught. For God Whatsoever ye speak shall not remain with you. For the Lord is with us. And of your fear we shall be neither afraid nor in dread. For the Lord is with us. But the Lord our God, him will we hollow, and he shall be a fear unto us. For the Lord is with us, and if I be trusting in him, he shall be unto me sanctification. For the Lord is with us, and I will be hoping in him, and shall be saved by him. For the children which God has given me. For the Lord is with us. The people that walk in darkness have seen a great light. He that dwell in the region and shadow of death, a light shall shine upon you. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given whose government is upon his shoulder, and of his peace there is no end, and his name shall be called Angel of Great Counsel, Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Ruler, Prince of Peace, Father of the Age to Come,
the indivisible Trinity, O most holy Virgin, Mother of God, the eyewitnesses of the Word and servants, all the choirs, both of the prophets and martyrs, as those that have attained unto life immortal, supplicate earnestly for us all, for we are all in distress, that being delivered from the delusion of the evil one, we may cry out the angelic hymn, Holy, 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 Thrice Holy Lord, have mercy and save us. Amen. I, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all, all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten and made of one essence for the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from the heavens and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man, and was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried and arose again on the third day according to the scriptures, and ascended into the heavens and sitteth at the right hand of the Father, and shall come again with glory to judge both the living and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, proceedeth from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together was worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the remission of sins, I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. O most holy Lady Theotokos, intercede for us sinners. O most holy Lady Theotokos, intercede for us sinners. O all ye yes. heavenly hosts of the holy angels and archangels, intercede for us sinners. Bow. O holy John, prophet and forerunner, and Baptist of our Lord Jesus Christ, intercede for us sinners. Bow. O holy glorious apostles, prophets and martyrs, and all the saints, intercede for us sinners. Our holy, our, our holy and God-bearing fathers, pastors and ecumenal teachers, intercede for us sinners. O our holy and God-bearing fathers, Anthony and Theodosius, and all the holy fathers of the kings, intercede for us sinners. O Christ the Savior, intercede for us sinners. O invincible and incomprehensible and divine power of the precious and life-giving cross, forsake not us sinners. O God, cleanse us sinners. O God, cleanse us sinners and have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Father. Banal na Diyos, banal na mga pangyarihan, banal na mga mga karmao sa amin. Banal na Diyos, banal na mga pangyarihan, banal na mga mga karmao ka sa amin. Banal na Diyos, banal na mga pangyarihan, banal na mga mga karmao ka sa amin. Wala ti tama at sana ka sa Espiritu Santo. Ngayon at kailan man at magkasawala ng kailan namin. O kabanal-banal ang sinimidad mga awa ka sa amin. O Panginoon, dinitin mo ang aming mga kasalanan. O Panginoon, patuwarin mo ang aming mga paglabag. O siyang panagalawin at pagalingin mo ang aming mga kahinaan. Alang-alang sa iyo ang alan. Panginoon, maawa ka. Panginoon, maawa ka. Panginoon, maawa ka. Luwalhati sa matsana ka sa Espiritu Santo. Ngayon at kailanman at magpasawalang hanggang amin. Ang manamin sumasalangit ka sa bahin ang alan mo. Makasami ng kaharihan mo, sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo po kami ngayon ang aming kakanin sa araw-araw. At patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga utang. Para nang pagpapatawad namin sa mga nagkakautang sa amin. At huwag mo po kami ipahintulod sa tukso. At hiyadya mo po kami sa lahat ng masama. For thy kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen.
Lord of mercy, 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 Kirili, son, 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 Gospody for me, 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 Gospody Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and being compared more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Father, so Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. O Lord, O Lord, who has delivered us from every arrow that flies by day, deliver us from everything that walketh in darkness, receive us as, uh, receive us as the evening sacrifice, the lifting up of our hands, vouchsafe us also to pass through the course of the night without blemish, untempted <coughs> by evil, and deliver us from every anxiety and fear that come to us from the devil. Grant unto our soul compunction and unto our thoughts so vicissitude concerning the trial of the dreaded righteous judgment, nailed on our flesh with fear of thee, and dead in our earthly members, that in quietness of sleep we may be enlightened by the vision of thy judgment. From Take us from every unseemly dream and pernicious carnal desire. Raise us up at the hour of prayer, fortified in faith and advancing in thy commandments through the benevolence and goodness of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed together with thy most holy and good and life-creating Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself our King and God. Maawit 51, Maawa ka sa akin o Diyos, ayon sa iyong sapat na pag-ibig. Ayon sa siyong saganang awa na ipawin mo ang aking mga paglabag, hugasan mo akong lubot sa aking kasamaan at linisin mo ako sa aking mga kasalanan, sapagkat ang aking, nal aking nalalaman ang mga pagsuway ko at ang aking kasalanan ay laging nasa harapan ko. Laban sa iyo, sa iyo lamang ako nagkasala at nakagawa ng kasamaan sa iyong paningin upang ikaw ay maghihanap sa iyong pagsasalita at walang gawin sa iyong paghatol. Narito ako ay pinanganak sa kasamaan at ipinaglihiya ko ng aking inal sa kasalanan. Narito ikaw ay nagnanasa ng katotohanan sa panlog ng pagkatao at sa tagong bahagi ay ipapakilala ko sa iyo ang karun sa akin ng karunungan. Linisin mo ako ng isopo at ako ay magiging malinis. Ugasan mo ako at ako'y magiging higit na puti kay Tanyebe. <coughs> Gawin mong marinig ko ang kagalakan at kasayahan. Hayaan mo ang mga buto na iyong binali ay magalak. Ikubli mo ang iyong mukha sa aking mga kasalanan at pawiin mo ang lahat kong mga kasamaan. Lumalang ka sa akin ang isang malinis na puso o Diyos at muli mong baguhin ang matuwid na espiritu sa loob ko. Sa iyong harapan ay huwag mo kong palisin at ang iyong banal na espiritu sa akin ay huwag mong bawiin. Ibalik mo sa akin ang kagalakan ng iyong pagliligtas at alalain ako na may espiritong nagnanais. Kung magkagayo ay ituturo ko sa mga tumusuway ang mga lakad mo at ang mga makasalanan ay manunumbalik sa iyo. Iligtas mo ako, Diyos, mula sa salang pagdanak ng dugo. Ikaw na Diyos ng aking kaligtasan at ang aking dila ay aawit ng malakas tungkol sa iyong katwiran. O Panginoon, buksan mo ang mga labi ko at ang aking bibigay magpapahayag ng papuri sa iyo. Sapagkat sa alay ay hindi ka nalulugod kung hindi ay bibigyan kita. Hindi ka nalulugod sa handog na sinusunog. Ang mga aayin sa Diyos ay bagbag na diwa. Isang bagbag at nagsisising puso o Diyos ay hindi mo ahamakin. Gawan mo ng mabuti ang kasiyon sa iyong mabuting kaluguran. Itayo mo ang mga pader ng Jerusalem. Kung gayo'y malulugod ka sa matutuwid na alay at sa mga handog na sinusunog at sa buong handog na sinusunog, Kung gayo'y iyahandog ang mga toro sa iyong dambanan. 
Hindus. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob, and of the righteous seed, who has made heaven and the earth with all their majesty, who has bound the sea by the word of thy commandments, who has closed the abyss and sealed it by thy terrible and glorious name, of whom all things are afraid and tremble from the presence of thy might, for no one can endure the majesty of thy glory, and unbearable is the wrath of thy threatening towards sinner, but measurable and unsearchable is the mercifulness of thy promise, for thou art the Lord Most High, compassionate, long-suffering, and plenteous in mercy, and repentest of the evils of men. Thou, O Lord, according to the multitude of thy goodness, hast promised penitence and forgiveness to them that have sinned against thee, and in the multitude of thy compassions hast decreed repentance for the salvation of sinners. Thou, therefore, O Lord God of hosts, hast not appointed repentance for the righteous, for Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who have not sinned against thee, but hast laid repentance upon me, a sinner, for I have sinned more than the number of the sons of the sea. Mine iniquities are multiplied, and I am not worthy to look upon and to see the height of heaven for the multitude of mine iniquities, for I am bowed down with many iron bands, so that I cannot lift up my head, and there is no release for me because I have provoked thine anger and done evil before thee, neither having done thy will nor having kept thy commandments. And now I bow the knees of my heart, beseeching of thee clemency. I have sinned, O Lord, I have sinned, and I know mine iniquities. But imploring, I pray thee, loose me, O Lord, loose me, and destroy me not with mine iniquities. Neither in enmity forever keep mine evils, neither condemn me. To the nethermost parts of the earth, for thou, O God, art the God of them that repent, and upon me thou wilt show all thy goodness, for thou shalt save me who am unworthy, according to the plenitude of thy mercy, and I will praise thee continually throughout the days of my life, for all the heavenly hosts him thee, and thine is the glory unto the ages of ages. Amen. <laughs> Banal na Diyos, banal na makapangyarihan, banal na walang hanggan maawa ka sa amin. Banal na Diyos, banal na makapangyarihan, banal na walang hanggan maawa ka sa amin. Luwalhati sa maasana ka sa Espiritu Santo, ngayon at kailanman at magpasawalang hanggan amin. O kabanal-banalang Trinidad, 
sumisinda at maawa ka sa amin. O Panginoon, limitin mo ang aming mga kasalanan. O Panginoon, patawarin mo ang aming mga paglabag. O siyang banandalawin at pagalingin mo ang aming mga kainan. Alang-alang sa iyong pangalan. Panginoon, maawa ka. Panginoon, maawa ka. Panginoon, maawa ka. Walhati sa mga sanak at sa Espiritu Santo. Ngayon at kailanman at magpasawalan ang gan namin. Ama namin, sumasalangit ka sa bayi ng aral mo. Mapasawi ng kahayan mo. Sundin ang loob mo. Diging sa lupa para ng salangit. Bigyan mo po kami ngayon na aking kakanin sa araw-araw. At patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga utang. Para mga pagpapatawad namin sa mga nagkakautang sa amin. At huwag mo po kami ipahintulod sa tukso. At iadyan mo po kami sa lahat ng masama. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and in the ages of ages. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Kirili son, 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 Kirili son. Gospody for me, 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 Lord. Panginoon mawa ka, 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 Panginoon mawa ka. Panginoon mawa ka, Panginoon mawa ka, Panginoon mawa ka, Panginoon mawa ka. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim, who without corruption gave his birth to God the Word. The very Theotokos, thee do we magnify in the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Father, so Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. O Master God, the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and O Holy Spirit, one Godhead, one power, and mercy on me, a sinner, and by the judgment which thou knowest, save me, thy unworthy servant, for blessed art thou unto the ages of ages, Amen. O come, let us worship God our King. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and God. Awit 70, malugod ka, O Diyos, na iligtas ako. O Panginoon, magmadali kang ako'y tulungan mo. Mapahiya at malitunawa sila na tumutugi sa aking buhay. Maitaboy nawa sila at mawala ng karangalan. Silang nagnanais na ako'y masaktan. Pangilabutan nawa sila dahil sa kanilang kahihiyan nilang nagsasabi, Aha! Aha! Lahat nawang nagsisiyanag sa iyo ay magalak at matuwa sa iyo. Yaw nawang umiibig sa iyong pagliligtas ay patuloy na magsabi, Hayaan na pinay ng Diyos, ngunit ako'y dukha at nangangailangan. Magmadali ka sa akin, O Diyos. Ikaw ang aking saklolo at ang aking tagapagliktas. O Panginoon, huwag kang magtagal. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear unto my supplication in thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness. And unto not at the judgment when thy servant, for in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath humbled my life down to the earth. It sat me in darkness as those that have been long dead, and my spirit within me has become despondent. Within me my heart is troubled. I remember the days of old, I meditated on all thy works. I pondered on the creation of thy hands. And I stretch forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsts out of thee like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit fa hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Ca cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for unto thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. 
Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the line of uprightness, for thy name's sake, O Lord, shall thou quicken me. In thy righteousness shall thou bring my soul out of affliction, and in thy mercy shall thou utterly destroy my enemies. And thou shalt cut them off all, and thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. <clears throat> Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill among men. We praise Thee, we bless Thee, we worship Thee, we glorify Thee, we give thanks to Thee for Thy great glory. O Lord, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and O Holy Spirit, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For Thou only art holy, Thou only art the Lord Jesus Christ. To the glory of God the Father, Amen. Every night will I bless Thee, and I will praise Thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Lord, Thou hast been a refuge in generation and generation. I said, O Lord, have mercy on me, heal my soul. For I have sinned against thee, O Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For in thee is the fountain of life, and in in thy light shall we see light. O continue thy mercy unto them that know thee. Vouchsafe, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is thy name unto the ages. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us, according as we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, Master, give me understanding of thy statutes. Blessed art thou, O Holy One, enlighten me by thy statutes. O Lord, thy mercy endureth forever. This day not the works of thy hands. To thee is due praise, to thee is due a song. To thee glory is due to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. In the fourth stone, during the sixth month, the archangel was sent to the pure virgin. In the sixth month, the supreme commander was sent to be the pure virgin to announce thee the word of day to day the good tidings of the salvation of our God. To the Lord a new song, sing unto the Lord all the earth. Behold, the resurrection has now been revealed to us. God united himself in men in manner past recounting. Also it is dispelled by the voice of the archangel. For the virgin received joy, and earthly woman has become heaven. The world is released from the time of birth. Let creation rejoice and chant the love. O Lord, our Creator and Deliverer, glory be to Thee. Glory to the Father, 
unto the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen.
promise the virgin star, and Gabriel proclaimeth that the tidings all praise. Wherefore we also cry to the fate of all those fears in. Rejoice thou who art full of grace, the Lord is with Have they pressed heavily upon me? My bruises are become useless. 
and corrupt in the face of my folly. I have been wretched and utterly bowed down until the end. All the day long I went with downcast face, for my loins are filled with mockings, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and hungry, humbled exceedingly. I have roared from the groaning of my heart. O Lord, before thee is all my desire, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart is troubled, my strength has failed me, and the light of my eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew nigh over against me and stood, and my nearest of kin stood afar off, and they that sought after my soul used violence, and they that sought evil for me spake vain things, and craftiness as all the day long did they meditate. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard him not, and was a speechless man that openeth not his mouth, and I became as a man that heareth not, and that hath in his mouth no reproof. For in thee have I hoped, O Lord, thou wilt hearken unto me, O Lord my God. For I said, Let never my enemies rejoice over me, yea, when my feet were shaken, those men spake boastful words against me. For I am ready for charges, and my sorrow is continually before me. For I will declare my iniquity, and I will take heed concerning my sin. But my enemies live and are made stronger than I, and they that hated me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good slandered me, because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God. Depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. And again, forsake me not, O Lord my God. Depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord of my salvation. Psalm 63. O God, my God, unto thee I rise early and dawn. My soul hath thirsted for thee. How often hath my flesh longed after thee in the land barren and untrodden and unwatered. So in the sanctuary have I appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than life, my lips shall praise thee. So shall I bless thee in my life, and in thy name will I lift up my hands. As with sorrow and fastness, let my soul be filled, and with lips of rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remember thee in my bed, at the dawn I meditated on thee. For thou art become my helper, in the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath lived after thee, thy right hand has been quick to help me. But as for these in vain, have been sought after my soul, they shall go into the nethermost parts of the earth, they shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword, portions for foxes shall they be, but the king shall be glad in God, everyone shall be praised that sweareth by him, for the mouth of them is stopped that speak unjust things. And again, at the dawn, I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper. In the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath believed after thee. Thy right hand has been free to help me. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Psalm 88. O Lord, God of my salvation, by day have I cried and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Bow down thine ear unto my supplication. For filled with evils is my soul, and my life unto thee hath drawn nigh. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am become as a man without help, free among the dead, like the bodies of the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness and in the shadow of death. Against me is thine anger made strong, and all the billows hast thou brought upon me. Thou hast removed my friends afar from me. They have made me an abomination unto themselves. I have been delivered up and have not come forth. My eyes are drawn me from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long. I have stretched out my hands unto thee. Day for the dead wilt thou work wonders, O shall. Or shall physicians raise them up, that they may give thanks unto thee? Nay, shall any in the grave tell of thy mercy, 
and of thy truth, in that destruction, many shall thy wonders be known in the darkness and thy righteousness, in the land that is forgotten. But as for me and to thee, O Lord, have I cried, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, dost thou cast off my soul, and turnest thy face away from me, a poor man am I, and in troubles from my youth. Yea, having been exalted, I was humbled and brought to distress. The furies have passed upon me, and the terrors have sorely troubled me. They came round about me like water. All the day long they compassed me about together. Thou hast removed afar from me friends and neighbor, and mine acquaintances because of my misery. And again, O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down thine ear unto my supplications. Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all that he hath done for thee, who is gracious unto all thy iniquities, who healeth all thy infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, who crowneth thee with mercy and compassion, who fulfilleth thy desire with good things. The youth shall be renewed as the eagles. The Lord performeth deeds of mercy and executeth judgment for all them that are wrong. He hath made his ways known unto Moses, unto the sons of Israel, the things that he hath willed. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long suffering and plenteous in mercy. Not unto the end will he be angered, neither unto eternity will he be wrought. Not according to our iniquities hath he dealt with us. Neither according to our sins hath he rewarded us, for according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. Like as the Father hath compassion upon his sons, so hath the Lord had compassion upon them that fear him, for he knoweth whereof we are made. He hath remembered that we are dust. As for man, days are as the grass, as the flower of the field, so shall he blossom forth. For when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him. And his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testaments and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, all ye his angels, mighty in strength, that perform his word to hear the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, his ministers, that do his will. Bless the Lord, all ye his works, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and again, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Psalm 142. O oh Lord, hear my prayer, give ear unto my supplication in thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. For in thy sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul. He hath humbled my life down to the earth. He hath sat me in darkness as those that have been long dead. And my spirit within me is become despondent. Within me my heart is troubled. I remember days of old, and meditated on all thy works. I pondered on the creations of thy hands. I stretched forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsts after thee like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk. For unto thee have I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord. Unto thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. For thy name's sake, O Lord, shalt thou quicken me. In thy righteousness shalt thou bring my soul out of the affliction. And in thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy mine enemies. And thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. And again, hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. And again, hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For the peace from above and the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For the peace of the whole world, the good estate of the holy churches of God, and the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For this holy temple and for them that with faith, reverence, and fear of God enter herein, let us pray to the Lord. For our great Lord and Father, His Holiness, Patriarch, Kirill, for our Lord, the very most reverend Metropolitan Pavel, and for the venerable priesthood, the diaconate of Christ, for all the clergy and people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of for this land, its authorities, and armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For the God-preserved Russian land, its Orthodox people, and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy. That he may deliver his people from enemies, both visible and invisible, and confirm in us oneness of mind. Brotherly love and piety, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this city and every city and country, for the faithful that dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for seasonable weather, abundance of the fruits of the earth, peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for travelers by sea, land, and air, for the sick, the suffering, the imprisoned for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that we may be delivered from all tribulation, wrath, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord of Calling to remembrance our most holy, most pure, most blessed, glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and all of our life unto Christ our God. For unto thee is to all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the fourth tone, God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. O oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Surrounding me, they compassed me, and by the name of the Lord I warded them on. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. I shall not die but live, and I shall tell of the works of the Lord. God is the Lord and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name the stone which the builders rejected, the same has become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. God is the Lord, and hath appeared unto us. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Today is the fountain of our salvation and the manifestation of the mystery.
In thee, O Lord, have I hope. Let me not be put to shame in the age to come. In thy righteousness deliver me and rescue me. Incline thine ear unto me and save me. Be thou unto me, O God, that is my defender and a place of strength, that thou mayst save me. For thou art my foundation and refuge. O my God, deliver me out of the hand of the sinner, out of the hand of the transgressor and the unrighteousness of man, unrighteous man. For thou art my patience, O Lord. O Lord, thou art my hope from my youth. On thee have I been made fast from the womb. From my mother's womb thou art my protector, and thee continually is my singing of praise. I am become as a wonder to many, and thou art my strong helper. Let my mouth be filled with praise, that I may hymn thy glory and thy majesty all the day long. Cast me not away in the time of mine old age, when my strength faileth. Forsake me not, for mine enemies have spoken against me, and they that watch my soul shall counsel together, saying, God hath forsaken him, pursue him, and take him. For there is none to deliver him. My God, be not far off from me. O my God, be attentive unto helping me. Let them be put to shame and brought to naught that falsely accuse my soul. Let him be covered with shame and confusion. They that seek evils for me. But as for me, I will ever hope in thee. And I will add to all my, thy praise. My mouth shall declare thy righteousness all the day long. Thy salvation, for I know not the reckoning thereof. I will commence in the might of the Lord. O Lord, I will make mention of the righteousness which is thine alone. O my God, thou hast taught me from my youth, and, and till now will I declare thy wondrous works. Yea, even unto old age and the dignity of years, my God, forsake me not until I clear thy mighty arm to every generation that is to come. Yea, thy sovereignty and thy righteousness, O God, and declare even to the heights the great things which thou hast done for me, O God, who is like unto thee. How great are the many and evil afflictions which thou hast showed unto me, yet having returned, thou madest me to live in out of the depth of the earth. Thou broughtest me up, thou hast multiplied them magnificence over me, and having returned, thou hast comforted me, and out of the depths of the earth again, thou hast brought, broughtest me up. Therefore also will I confess thee among the peoples, O Lord, with instruments of psalmody. With a harp I will chant of thy truth unto thee, O God, the Holy One of Israel. My lips shall rejoice when I chant unto thee, yea, even my soul which thou hast redeemed. Moreover, my tongue will meditate on thy righteousness all the day long when they be put to shame and confounded which seek evils for me. Psalm 72. Ibigay mo, Diyos, sa hari ang iyong mga katarungan at sa anak ng hari ang iyong katulad. Naway at tulad niya na may katwiran ang iyong bayan at ang iyong buka ng may katarungan. Ang mga bundok na ay magtaglay ng katadanaan para sa bayan at ang mga burol sa katwiran. 
Kayo niya na huwag ipagtanggol ng lupa ng bayan magbigay ng kaligtasan sa mga nangangailangan at ang mapangapi ay kanyang durugin. Sila na huwag matakot sa iyo habang ang araw na nanatili ang tagal ng buwan sa buong panahon ng mga saling lahi. Siya na huwag maging gaya ng ulan na bumabagsak sa damong tinabas gaya ng ambon na dumidig sa lupa. Sa kanyang mga araw na huwag lumagana pang matuwid at ang kapayapan ay kumagana hanggang sa mga lang buwan. Magkaroon na siya ng kapangyarihan mula sa dagat hanggang sa kabilang dagat at mula sa ilog hanggang sa mga dulo ng lupa. Ang mga naninirahan sa ilang nawa ay kanyang magsiyukod at inura ng kanyang mga kaaway ang alabok. Ang mga hari nawa ng Tartis at ng mga pulo ay magdala sa kanya ng mga kaloob at ang mga hari nawa sa Sheba at Seba ay magdala ng mga kaloob. Lahat nawa ng mga hari magsiyukod sa harap niya, lahat ng mga bansa ay maglingkod sa kanya. Sapagkat kanya ay nililigtas ang nangangailangan kapag ito'y nananawagan ng buka at ang taong walang kadamay. Siya ay maaawa sa mahina at nangangailangan na tililigtas ang buhay ng mga nangangailangan. Sa panggigipit at karasan, buwan yung buhay nila'y kanyang tutubusin at magiging mahalaga ang kanilang dugo sa kanyang paningin. Mabuhay na wasiya ng matagal at ang ginto ng Sheba sa kanyang naway ibigay. Ipanalangin na wasiya ang panalagpalagyan at hindi ng mga pagpapala para sa kanyang buong araw. Magkaroon na wanang saganang trigo sa lupa sa mga tuktok ng mga bundok. Ito na way yung malon. Ang bunga na wani yun ay magwagayway ng gaya ng Lebanon at silang mga nasa lungsod na way kumagana. Gaya ng damo sa lupa. Ang kanyang pangalan na waay manatili kailanman, ang kanyang pangalan na waay maging bantog hanggang ang araw ay sumikat, ang mga tao na waay pagpalain sa pangamagitan niya at tawagin siyang mapalad ng lahat ng mga bansa. Purihin ang Panginoon ng Diyos ng Israel na siya lamang ang gumagawa ng mga bagay na kahangahanga. Purihin ang kanyang maluwalhating pangalan magpakailanman, mapuno na wa ang buong lupa ng kanyang kalwalatian. Amen at Amen. At ang mga palalangin ni David na anak ni Jesse ay dito natapos. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever now to the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to the Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to the Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to the Lord God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Psalm 73. How good is God? 72. How good is God to Israel, to them that are of up, upright of heart. But as for me, my feet were all but shaken, my steps well nigh had slipped. For I was jealous of the transgressors, when I beheld the peace of sinners. For they make no sign of refusal in the time of their death, and they have steadfastness in the time of their scourging. They are not in such toils as other men, nor with other men shall they be scourged. Therefore, wherefore their pride hath utterly ma mastered them. They have wrapped themselves in their injustice and ungodliness. Their injustice shall go forth as, out as fatness. They have passed through to their hearts and head. They have thought and spoken in wickedness. They have spoken in righteous and arrogance. They have set their mouth against heaven and their tongue roveth in the earth. Therefore shall my people return hither and full they shall be found in them. And they said, How doth God know? And is there knowledge in the Most High? Behold, they are, these are sinners. They prosper in this age and have obtained riches. And I said, Surely in vain have I kept justice in my heart and washed my hands among the innocent. And I made a man scorched all the day long, and reproof was mine in every morning. And I said, I shall speak thus, though I have broken covenant with the generation of thy sons. And I sought to understand, but this was the toilsome in my sight. And I come into the sanctuary of God and understand their end. Surely for the crafty dealings thou hast appointed evils for them. Thou hast cast down them down in their exaltation. How are they come unto desolation in a moment? They have ceased to be. They have perished because of their iniquity. As a dream of one who awaketh, O Lord, in thy city, thou shalt bring their image to naught. For my heart was fired in my reins, have been charged, and I was brought to naught, and knew not 
knew it not. I became as a beast before thee, and I am ever without thee. Thou hast held me by thy right hand, and by thy counsel hast thou guided me, and with thy glory hast thou taken me to thyself. For what have I in heaven and besides thee? What have I desired upon earth? My heart and my flesh have failed, O God of my heart, and God is my portion forever. For behold, they that remove themselves from thee shall perish. Thou hast destroyed all that go a whoring from thee, but it is good for me to cleave unto God, to put my hope in the Lord, that I may declare all thy praises in the gates of the daughter of Zion. Awit 74 O Diyos, bakit mo kami pinasaklil magpakailanman? Bakit ang iyong galit ay umuusok laban sa mga tupa ng iyong katulan? Alalahanin mo ang iyong katulungan na iyong binili noong una na iyong tinubos upang maging pipi ng iyong mana at ang bundok ng siyo na iyong tinataan. Itaas mo ang iyong mga akbang sa mga walang hanggang buho. Inasak ng kaway ang lahat ng bagay sa santuario. Ang mga kaway mo'y nagsisigaw sa gitna ng iyong dakong taguan. Itinaas nila ang kanilang mga katawat na palatandaan. Sila itila mga tao na nagtaas ng mga palakol sa kugubatan ng mga pungong kaway. At lahat ng mga kaway na nililok ay kanilang binasag ng palakol at mga pumukpo. Kanilang sinunog ang iyong santuario hanggang sa lupa. Ilapastangan nila ang sada ng dako ng pangalan mo. Sinabi nila sa kanilang sarili, ganap namin silang lulupigin. Kanilang sinunog ang lahat ng dako ng tagpuan ng Diyos sa lupain. Hindi namin nakikita ang aming mga palatandaan. Wala ng propeta pa at walang sino man sa amin na nakakalam kung hanggang kailan. O Diyos, hanggang kailan man nilibak ang kaway? Lalapastanganin ba ng kaway ang iyong pangalan magpakailanman? Bakit mo iniuuro ang iyong kamay mula sa loob ng iyong dibdib? Puksayin mo sila. Gayon man ang Diyos na aking hari ay mula ng una ng gumagawa ng pagliligtas sa gitna ng lupa. Hinawi mo ang dagat sa pamagitan ng iyong kalakasan. Binasag mo ang mga ulo ng mga dambuwala sa mga tubigan. Dinurog mo ang mga ulo ng libitan. Ibinigay mo sa siya bilang pagkain para sa mga nilalang sa ilang. Ang mga bukal at mga batis ay iyong binuksan. Iyong tinuyo ang mga batis na palagihan dinadaluyan. Iyo ang araw at ang gabi man. Iyong inihanda ang mga araw at ang law at ang araw. Itinakda mo ang lahat ng mga hanggan ng daigdig. Iyong ginawa ang tagilit at ang taglamig. Alalahanin mo ito, Panginoon, kung paano nangilibak ang kaway at isang masamang bayan ang lumapit sa iyong pangalan, ang lumalait sa iyong pangalan. Sa mababang isa, iyong pangkaluluwa ng iyong kalapati ay huwag mong ibigay. Huwag mong kalimutan ang buhay ng iyong duka, magpakailanman. Magkaroon ka ng pagpapahalaga sa iyong pipan sapagkat ang madidilim na dako ng lupa ay puno ng mga tahanan ng karasan. Ang naapinaway huwag malik na may kahiyan. Purihin awa ng duka at nangangailangan ng iyong pangalan. Bumangon ka o Diyos ang usapin mo ipaglaban. Alalahanin mo kung paano mong lilibak ka ng masasama buong araw. Huwag mong kalilimutan ang sigaw ng iyong mga kaaway. Ang ingay ng iyong mga kaaway na patuloy na kumapailan lang. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Psalm 75, 74, We will confess Thee, O God, we will confess Thee, and we will call upon Thy name. I will tell of all Thy wonders. When I am given the appointed time, I will judge uprightly. The earth is melted and all that dwell therein. It is I that made steadfast the pillars thereof. I said to the transgressors, do not transgress, and to the sinners, lift up not the horn. Lift not up your horn on high, and speak not unrighteousness against God. For judgment cometh not from the byways, nor from the west, nor from the desert mountains. For God is judge. This man he humbleth, and another he exalteth. For in the hand of the Lord there is a brimming cup of unmingled wine, and he hath inclined it from side to side. But the dregs thereof were not fully emptied out. 
all the sinners of the earth shall drink from them. But as for me, I will rejoice forever. I will chant them to the God of Jacob, and all the horns of the sinners will I break, but the horn of the righteous man shall be exalted. How in seven Sa Judah ang Diyos ay kilala ang kanyang pangalan sa Israel ay dakila. Nakasag sa salin ng kanyang tahanan sa siyo ng kanyang dakong tirahan. Do'y pinali niya ang mga gibis ng mga palato, ang kalasag, ang tabak at mga sandata sa pakisigma. Ikaw ay malalati ibig ng arangal kay sa mga bundong mga langangan. Ang matatapang ay inalisa ng kanilang samsam. Sila ay lumubog sa pasakatulog at wala sa mga mandirigma ang makakagamit ng kanilang mga kamay. Sa iyong saway, o Diyos ni Jacob, ang mga abayo at ang abayo ay nandusay sa mahimbing na pasakatulog. Ngunit ikaw ay takasilakilabot, sinumaka tayo sa iyong harapan. Kapag minsan ang galit ay napukaw, mula sa langit ang hatol ay iyong pinarinig, ang lupay ng takot at tumahimik. Nang ang Diyos ay bumangon sa pagatol o panganigtas ng lahat ang nakapis sa sandahidigan, tunay na bukuriin ka ng kod ng tao ang nalabi sa pot ay ibibigkit mo sa iyo. Mamanata ka sa Panginoon ng Diyos at tuparin mo mga iyon. Magdalawa na, magdala na nga ng mga kalooban lahat na nasa kanyang kalibot sa kanya na nararapat sa bukulan ng takot. Siyang pumuputo ng spirito ng mga pinuno na pinatatakutan ng mga hari sa mundo. Psalm 77 With my voice unto the Lord as I cried, with my voice unto God, and He was attentive unto me. In the day of mine affliction I sought out God, which with my hands upraised by night before Him, and I was not deceived. My soul refused to be comforted. I remembered God, and I was gladdened. I spake in idleness, and my spirit became faint-hearted. Mine eyes were wakeful, but before... Before the watches I was troubled and spake not. I thought upon the days of the old and the years of the ages past. I called to mind and I meditated. By night I pondered in my heart and my spirit searched diligently. Will the Lord then cast off unto the, cast me off unto the ages and will he be favorable no more? Or will he cut off his mercy unto the end? Hath he brought to an end his word from generation to generation? Or will the Lord forget to be merciful? Or in his wrath will he shut up his compassions forever? And I said, Now have I made a beginning. This change hath been wrought by the right hand of the Most High. I remember the works of the Lord, for I will remember thy wonders from the beginning. And I will meditate on all thy works, and I shall ponder upon thy ways. O God, in the sanctuary is thy way. What God is as great as our God? Thou art God who worketh wonders. Thou hast made thy power known among the peoples. With thine arm hast thou redeemed thy people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. The waters saw thee, O God, the waters saw thee and were afraid. The abyss was troubled. Great was the resounding sound of the waters. The clouds gave forth a voice. Yea, for thine arrows passed abroad. The voice of thy thunder is in the rolling. And the, thy lightnings have lightened the world. The earth was shaken and it trembled. In the sea are thy byways and thy paths in many waters. And thy footsteps shall not be known. Thou leadest thy people as sheep by the hand of Moses and Aaron. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the earth, God. Alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Wasted by the disease of sin, I lie on the bed of despair. O physician of the sick, visit me in thy love for mankind. And most merciful, let me not sleep shamefully in death, but enable me to cry with all my
Ang kadas sa atong Diyos ang kanilang manunubos, ngunit kanilang tinuya siya ng bibig nila, nagsinungaling sila sa kanya sa pamagitan ng kanilang mga dila. Sa pagtatang puso nila, hindi tapat sa kanya, nilaging tapat ng sila sa tipa niya, gayon man sila ipalibas ay mahabagin. Pinatawad niya ang kanilang kasamaan at hindi sila nilipol, madalas na pinipigil niya ang kanyang galit at hindi pinupukaw ang lahat niyang kot. Kanyang naalala na sila'y laman lamang isang dumarang hangin at hindi na huling babalik. Kay dalas na naghimagsik sila laban sa kanyang saylang at sa disyerto sila'y kanilang pinagdamdam. Ang Diyos ay tinukso nilang paulit-ulit at ang banal ng Israel ay kanilang ginalit. Hindi nila inalala ang kanyang kapangyarihan niyang araw ng kanyang tugutin sila mula sa kalaban. Nang gawin niya sa inipto ang kanyang palatandaan at ang kanyang mga kababalagan sa kaparahan ng tuwan. Ginawa niyang dugo ang mga ilog mula upang hindi sila makainom sa kanilang mga sapa. Kanyang pinadalan sila ng mga pulutong ng mga baho na lumamon sa kanila at ang mga palakan sa kanila kumuksa. Ibinigay niya sa higad ang kanilang mga alaman at ang buwan ng kanilang paggawa sa balang. Tinira niya ang kanilang ubas na ulang ng ulang yelo at nang namungabog ang kanilang mga sikumoro. Ibinigay niya sa yelo mula ng kanilang mga hayop at ang kanilang mga kawan sa mga kidlat at kulob. Sa kanila ay pinakawala niya ang bangis ng kanyang galit, kuot, bagsik at sigali, isang pulotong ng mga pumupuksang ngel. Para sa kanyang galit, gumagawa siya ng darahana ng kanilang kaluluwa, hindi niya niligtas sa kamatayan, kundi binigay sa salot ang kanilang buhay. Ang lahat ng panganay sa Egypto ay kanyang pinataya, unang labas sa kanilang lakas sa mga tolda niya. Pagkatapos ay inakay niya na parang mga tupa ang kanyang bayan at pinatubayan sila sa ilang na parang kawan. Ang kanyang tiwasay na inakay sila ang kanyang hindi siya nasinda, ngunit ang kanilang mga kaaway tinabunan ng dagat. At kanyang dinala sila sa kanyang lupaing banal sa bundok ng pinagtagumpayan ng kanyang kanang kamay. Pinalayas niya ang mga bansa sa kanilang harapan at sa pamagitan ng pising panulat, pinababahagi niya ang mga ito bilang pamana at ang mga lipat ng Israel sa kanilang mga tulad pinatahanan. Ngayon may kanilang sinubukan at naghimagsik sila sa Diyos ng katasasan at ang kanyang mga patutuo ay hindi iningatan. Kundi tumalikod at gumawa ang may katak sila na gaya ng kanilang mga magulang sila'y bumaluktot na gaya ng mandarayang pana. Sapagkat kanilang ginalit siya sa pamagitan ng kanilang magsasad ako, kanilang pinansubugbo siya sa pamagitan ng kanilang mga nalawang nililo. Nang marinig ito ng Diyos sa puot siya ay napuspos at ang Israel ay kinayamot ang lubos. Kanyang pinabayaan ang kanyang tahanan sa silo at tulda sa kanyang ilagay sa gitna ng mga tao. At ibinigay sa pagkabihag ang kanyang kalakasan ng kanyang kalulatian sa, kanang, sa kamay ng kaaway. Ibinigay niya ang kanyang bayan sa espada at ibinulalas ang kanyang kuot sa kanyang mana. Nilamon ang apoy ang kanilang kabinataan at ang mga dalaga nila ay walang awit ng kasalanan. Ng kasalan. Ang kanilang mga pare ay binuwal ng tabak at ang mga balo nila hindi makaiyak. Nang magkagayo ng Panginoon sa pagtulog ay gumising dahil ang malakas na talo na sumisigaw dahil sa pagkalasing at sinaktan siya sa likod ng kanyang mga kaaway sa walang hanggang kahiyan. Kanya silang inalala, inilagay. Ang toda ni Jose ay kanyang itinakwil, hindi niya pinili ang lipi ni Ephraim, kundi ang lipi ni Juda ang kanyang pinili ang bundok ng siyon na kanyang minamahal. Itinayo niya ang kanyang santuario na gaya ng mga kataasan, gaya ng lupa na kanyang itinatag magpakailanman. Pinili niya si David na lingkod niya at ang kanyang kinuha siya mula sa kalungan ng mga tupa. Mula sa pag-aalaga ng mga pusuing tupa siya ay kanyang dinala upang maging pastol ng Jacob na bayan niya na Israel sa kanyang pamana. Kaya siya ay nagpastol sa kanila ay sa katapatan ng kanyang puso at kanyang pinagtubay siya na sanay ng mga kamay. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Psalm 79, O God, the heathen are come into thine inheritance. They have defiled thy holy temple. They have made Jerusalem as it were the hot of a orchid keeper. 
They have made the dead bodies of thy servants to be food for the birds of heaven, the flesh of thy saints for the beasts of the earth. They have poured out their blood like water round about Jerusalem, and there was none to bury them. We are become a reproach among our neighbors, a scorn and derision to them that are round about us. How long, O Lord, will thou be wroth unto the end? Shall thy jealousy be kindled like fire? Pour out thy wrath upon the nations that, thou, that know thee not, and upon the kingdoms that have not called upon thy name. For they have devoured Jacob in his place of they made desolate. O remember not our iniquities of old, let thy compassions quickly go before us. O Lord, for we are become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God and Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name. O Lord, deliver us and be gracious unto our sins for thy name's sake. Lest haply the nations say, Where is their God? Yea, make known among the nations before our eyes the vengeance of thy servants' blood, which hath been shed. Let there come before thee the groaning of them that be in feathers. According to the greatness of thine arm, show thy care for the sons of the slain, and render to our neighbors sevenfold into their bosom their reproach, wherewith they have reproached thee, O Lord. For we are thy people and the sheep of thy pasture. We will confess thee, O God, forever unto generation and generation. We will declare thy praise. Awit kay ti, O pastor lang ay prayer yung pakinggan, ikaw na pumapatubay kay Jose na parang kawan, ikaw na nakaluklok sa trono sa ibabo ng mga perubin, ikaw ay magliwanag sa harapan ng Ephraim, ng, ng Benjamin at ng Manasseh. Pakilutin mo ang iyong kapangyarihan at kumarito ka upang kami hiligtas. Panunumbalikin mo kami, O Diyos, palibanagin mo ang iyong mukha upang kami maligtas. O Panginoon Diyos ng mga ako, hanggang kailan ka magagalit sa dalangin ng bayan mo. Yung pinakaya sila ng tinapay ng mga luha at binigyan mo sila ng mainom ng mga luhang sagana. Ginawa mo kami kaalitan sa aming mga kapit kalapit basa at ng mga kaaway namin ay nagtatawa ng sama-sama. Panunumbalikin mo kami o Diyos ng mga ako, paliwanagin mo ang iyong mukha upang kami ay maligtas. Ikaw ay nagdala ng isang puro ng ubas mula sa Egypto. Iyong pinalayas ang mga basa at sinanin mo ito. Sinihanda mo ang lupa para doon ito'y nabuhugat ng malalim at pinuno ng lupain. Ang mga bundok ay natakpan ng lilit niyon, ang malaking sedro at ang mga sanga nito. Ang kanyang mga sanga hanggang sa dagat ay umabot at ang kanyang mga supling hanggang sa ilog. Bakit mo'y binagsak ang mga pademya? Ano pa't lahat ng dumarang ay pumipitas ang kanyang bunga? Sinisira ito ng baboy damo na mula sa kagubatan at nanginginahin doon ang lahat ng humagalaw sa parang. Bumalik kang muli o Diyos ng mga ako ay sinasamo namin sa iyo. Tumungo ka mula sa langit at mandan mo. Pakahalagahan mo ang puno ng ubas na ito. Ang puno ay tinanin ng kanang kamay mo at sanak na iyong pinalaki para sa iyong sarili. Sinunog nila yun sa apoy, yun ay kanilang pinutol. Sa saway ng iyong muka sila ay nanipol. Ipatong nawa ang iyong kamay sa tao ng kanang kamay mo, sa anak ng tao na iyong pinalakas para sa sarili mo. Sa gayo'y hindi kami tatalikod sa iyo, bigyan mo kami ng buhay at tatawa kami sa pangalan mo. Panunumbalikin mo kami, O Panginoong Diyos ng mga ako, paliwanagin mo ang iyong mukha upang kami ay maligtas. Psalm 81 Rejoice in God, our helper. Shout with joy to the God of Jacob. Take up a psalm and bring the timbrel, the pleasant psaltery, with the harp. Sound the trumpet at the new moon in the notable day of our feast. For this is an ordinance for Israel and a judgment of the God of Jacob. He ordained it for a testimony in Joseph when he went out from the land of Egypt. A tongue which he knew not did he hear. He removed his back from burdens. His hands had slaved all the basket at the basket. Thou didst call upon me in affliction, and I delivered thee. I heard thee in the secret place of the tempest, and made trial of thee at the water of gain, saying, Hear, O my people, and I will speak unto thee, O Israel, and I will testify unto thee, for thou hearest me. There shall be in thee no new God, nor shall thou worship an, an alien God, for I am the Lord a God who, lead, who led thee out of the land of Egypt. Open thy mouth wide, and I will fill it. But my people heard not my voice, and Israel gave no heed unto me, and I let them go according to the ways of their hearts. They shall walk in their own ways. If my people had heard me, if Israel had walked in my ways, quickly would I have humbled their enemies, and upon their oppressors would I have laid my hand. The enemies of the Lord have lied unto him. But in that age their time shall come, and he fed them with 
the fat of the wheat and with honey out of the rock he satisfied them glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, now to the ages of ages. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Awit 82. Kinuha ng Diyos ang kanyang lugar sa kapitanan ng Diyos. Siya yung maatol sa gitna ng mga Diyos. Hanggang kailan kayo ahatol ng di makatarungan at magpapakita ng pagsangayin sa masama. Bigyan ninyo ng katarungan ng mahinato nila. Panatilihin ang karapatan ng mga nagtitigati at dukha sa gipi ninyo ang mahina at nangangailangan iligtas ninyo sila sa kamay ng masama wala silang kalaman o pangunawa sila'y lumalakad na parot parito sa kadiliman lahat ng saligan ng lupa ay nayayanig aking sinasabi kayo mga Diyos kayong lahat ay mga anak ng kataas-taasan gayon may mamamatay kayo tulad ng mga tao at mabubuhal na gaya ng sinumang pinuno Bumangon ka, O Diyos, sa tulad mo ang lupa, sapagkat iyo ang lahat ng mga bansa. Psalm 83 O God, who shall be likened unto thee, be thou not silent, neither be still, O God. For behold, thine enemies have made a noise, and they that hate thee have lifted up their heads. Against thy people have they taken wicked counsel, and have conspired against thy saints. They said, Come, let us utterly destroy them, that they make no more a nation. And let the name of Israel be remembered no more, for they have conspired with oneness of mind together. Against thee have they made a covenant, even the tents of the Idumeans and the Ismailites, Moab and the Hagarines, Gebel and Ammon, Der and Amalek, the foreigners with them that dwell at Tyre, Yafer, even us, sirs, come with them, they are become a help for the sons of Lot. Do unto them as thou didst unto the Madiam and Caesarea, as unto Jabin and the brook of Kisan. They were utterly destroyed in under, they became as dung for the earth, and made their, make their princes like Oreb and Zeb and Zebi and Salmana, yea, all their princes who said, Let us take to ourselves for inheritance of the sanctuary of God. O oh my God, make them like a wheel, as stubble before the face of the wind, as fire shall, which shall burn the forest, as the flame which shall consume the mountains, so shall thou pursue with them thy tempest, and in thy wrath shall they, thou trouble them, fill their faces with dishonor, and they shall seek thy name, O Lord. Let them be shamed and troubled with ages of ages, and let them be confounded and destroyed. Let them most, let and let them know that the na thy name is Lord, thou alone art most high over all the earth. Awit 84, napakaganda ng tahanan mo, Panginoon, ng mga upo. Ang kaluluwa ko'y nananabig ko, nangihina pa sa mga bulwaga ng Panginoon, ng puso ko't sama na'y umawit, sa kalalagala ka ng buhay na Diyos. Maging ang maya ay nakakatagpo ng bahay, at ang laya-laya mo ay ang hugad para sa Kanya, na mapaglagyan niya ng Kanyang inakay. O Panginoon ng mga upo, sa mga damba na mo, hari ko at Diyos ko, mapalad silang naninirahan sa bahay mo na laging umahawit ng pagpupuri sa iyo. Mapalad ang mga tao na ang mga kalakasan ay nasa iyo, na ang mga daan tungo sa siyo na ay nasa kanilang puso. Sa kanilang pagdaan sa libis ng baka ay ginawa nila itong dako ng mga bukal. Kinakalatan din ito ng mga papapala ng mga gamulan. Sila ay umahayot sa lakas at lakas ang Diyos na mga Diyos ay makikita sa siyon. O Panginoong Diyos ng mga upo, pakinggan mo ang aking panalangin. Pakinggan mo, O Diyos ni Jacob. Masdan mo ang aming mga kalasag, O Diyos. Tingnan mo ang mukha ng iyong pinahira ng langis. Sapagkat ang isang araw sa iyong mga bulwagan ay mabuti kay sa isang libo o saan man. Nanahisin ko pang maging tanod sa pintuan sa bahay ng aking Diyos kaysa tumaan sa mga solda ng kasamaan. Sapagkat ang Panginoong Diyos ay, ay araw at kalasag. Siya ay nagbibigay ng biyaya at karangalan. Walang mabuting bagay ang ipagkakait ng Panginoon sa mga nagsisilakad ng matuwid. O Panginoon ng mga upo, mapalad ang taong nagtitiwala sa iyo. <clears throat> Psalm 85 Thou hast been gracious, O Lord, unto thy land. Thou hast turned back the captivity of Jacob. Thou hast forgiven the iniquities of thy people. Thou hast covered all their sins. Thou hast made all thy wrath to cease. Thou hast turned back from the wrath of thine anger. 
Turn us back, O God of our salvation, and turn away thine anger from us. Wilt thou be wrought with us unto the ages, or wilt thou draw out thy wrath from generation to generation? O God, thou wilt turn and quicken us, and thy people shall be glad in thee. Show us, O Lord, in mercy, and thy salvation do thou give, it, give unto us. I will hear what the Lord God will speak in me, for he will speak peace to his people and to his saints, and to them that turn their heart unto him. Surely nigh unto them that fear him is the salvation, that glory may dwell in our land. Mercy and truth are met together, righteousness and peace have kissed each other. Truth is sprung up out of the earth, and righteousness hath looked down from heaven. Yea, for the Lord will give goodness, and our land shall yield her fruit. Righteousness shall go before him, and shall set his footsteps in the way. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. <clears throat> Wasted by the disease of sin, I lie on the bed of despair. O physician of the sick, visit me in thy love for mankind. And most merciful, let me not cease shamefully in death, but enable me to carry all my heart to Bestower of mercy, O Lord, glory be to Thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Yesterday and today Lazarus is sick, and his sisters make it known to Christ. Prepare thyself with joy, O Bethany. To welcome us, I guess, the Lord and King, and to cry aloud with us, O Lord, glory be to thee. Both now and ever, now to thee, just the pages, amen. Most holy Mother of God, rampart of Christians, deliver us, thy people, who now and the altar stole fervently upon thee. Make war upon our arrogant and shameful thoughts, that we may cry to thee. Rejoice, ever virgin. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Diyos, 
O Panginoon, ituro mo sa akin ang iyong daan upang makalakad ako sa iyong katotohanan. Ilakit mo ang aking puso upang matakot sa iyong pangalan. Magpapasalamat ako sa iyo ng buong puso, Panginoon kong Diyos, at tuluwalatin ko ang iyong pangalan magpakailanman. Sapagkat dakila ang iyong tapat na pagpinta sa akin, sa kalaliman ng siyol ay inigtas mo ang aking kaluluwa. O Diyos, ang mga tao mayabang ay nagbangon laban sa akin, isang pangkat ng malulupit na tao ang nagtatangka sa aking buhay, at hindi kanila ay sinahalang-halang sa harapan nila. Ngunit ikaw, O Panginoon ay Diyos na mahabagi ng mapagbihaya, banayad sa pagkagalit sa tapat ng pag-ibig at katapatan ay sagana. Lumunin mo ako, mawa ka sa akin, ibigay mo ang lakas mo sa iyong lingkod at iligtas mo ang anak ng iyong lingkod na babae. Pagpapakitaan mo ako ng tanda para sa kabutihan upang makita ng mga napupo sa akin at mapaya sapagkat ikaw, Panginoon, ay tumutulong at tumaliw sa akin. His <coughs> Psalm 87 His foundations are in the holy mountains. The Lord loveth the gates of Zion more than all the dwellings of Jacob. Glorious things are spoken of thee, O city of God. I will make mention of Rab and Babylon to them that know me, and lo, the foreigners and Tyre and the people of the Ethiopians. These were born there. A man will say, Mother Zion, and that man was born in her, and the Most High himself hath founded her. The Lord shall tell it in the writ of the peoples and the princes, even these that were born in her. How joyous are all they that have their habitation in thee. Awit 87. Awit 88. O Panginoon Diyos, ang aking kaligtasan na ako'y dumadaling araw at gabi sa harap mo, para tingin mo naman ang aking panalangin sa harapan mo. Ang iyong pandinig sa aking dahil na ipiling mo sa pagkatang aking kaluluwa ay tumuna mga kaguluan at papalapit sa siyo ng aking buhay. Ako ibinilang sa kanila ng bumaba sa ukay ang isang walang lakas gaya ng pinabayaan sa gitna ng mga patay, gaya ng pinatay na nakaiga sa libingan, gaya ng mga hindi mo na hinaalala sapagkat sila hindi iwalay sa iyong kamay. Inilagay mo ako sa pinakamalalim na ukay sa madaling na dako at kalaliman. Ang iyong pot ay mabigat na sa akin ay nakapatong at iyong sinaktan ako ng lahat ng mga alon. Pinalayo mo sa akin ang mga kasamaan. Ginawa mo ako isang bagay sa kanilang katatakutan. Ako'y nakakulungo pa ako hindi makatakas dahil sa kalungkutan ay lumabo ang mata ko. O Panginoon, araw-araw ay tumatawag ako sa iyo. Aking niyabot sa iyo mga kamay ko. Gagawa ba ng mga kababalagan para sa mga patay ang mga patay ba? Ibabago mo pang purihin ka. Ang iyo bang tapat na pag-ibig ay ba? Ayos sa libingan at sabado ng iyong katapatan. Ang iba mga kabalalagan ay malalaman sa kabiliman ng iyong katwiran sa lupain ng pagkalimot. O Panginoon, ako'y sa iyo dumarahin sa umagay dumarating sa harapan mo ang aking panalangin. O Panginoon, bakit mo'y tinatakoy lang aking kaluluwa? Bakit mo'y kinukubli ang iyong mga muka sa akin? Pinahihirapan at malapit sa kamatayan mula sa aking kabataan. Tiniis ko ang pagkatakot sa iyo, wala akong kakayaan. Ang iyong mabangis na po ay dumaan sa akin. Winasak ako ng iyong mga kilakilabot na bagay. Kanilang pinaligiran ako na gaya ng tubig sa buong araw. Kilugtog nila akong magkakasama. Inalis mo sa akin ang aking mga ibig at kaibigan ng aking mga kasamaan ay nasa kadiliman. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, not to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, not to the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> Psalm 89. Of thy mercies, O Lord, will I sing forever, unto generation and generation will I declare the truth with my mouth. For thou hast said, Mercy shall be built up forever, in the heaven shall thy truth be established. I have made a covenant with my chosen ones, I have sworn unto David my servant, I will establish thy seed until eternity, and build up thy throne unto generation and generation. The heaven shall confess thy wonders, O Lord, and thy truth in the congregation of saints. 
For who in the cloud shall be compared unto the Lord, and who shall be likened to the Lord among the sons of God? God who is glorified in the counsel of the saints is great and terrible towards all that are round about him. O Lord God of hosts, who is like unto thee? Mighty art thou, O Lord, and thy truth is round about thee. Thou art sovereign over the strength of the sea, and the tumult over waves that make us calm. Thou hast brought the proud man, low as the corpse of one slain, and with the arm of thy powers, thou scatter thine enemies. Thine are the heavens, and thine is the earth, and the world and the fullness thereof hast thou folded. The north and the s- founded, the north and the sea hast thou created. Tabor and Hermon shall rejoice in thy name. Thine is the arm that hath might, and thy hand be strengthened. Let thy right hand be lifted up on high. Righteousness and judgment are the establishment of thy throne. Mercy and truth shall go before thy faith. Face, blessed is the people that knoweth jubilation. The Lord in the light of thy face shall they walk, and in thy name shall they rejoice all day long, and in thy righteousness shall they be exalted, for the boost of their strength for the boast of their strength are thou, and in thy good pleasure shall our horn be lifted high. For from thee, Lord, is our defense, yea, from the Holy One of Israel, our King. At the time thou spakest in a vision to thy sons, and thou didst say, I have bestowed help on one that is mighty, I have raised up one chosen out of my people, I have found David my servant, with my holy oil have I anointed him, for my hand shall be unto him an alley, and mine arm shall strengthen him. No advantage shall his enemy have over him, nor shall the son of iniquity avail to hurt him any more. And I will hew down his enemies before his face, and them that hate him shall I put to flight, and my truth and my mercy shall be with him, and in my name shall his horn be lifted high, and that I will set his hand in the sea and his right hand in the rivers. He shall call upon me, and I shall say, My father art thou my God, and the helper of my salvation, and for me I will make him my firstborn, higher than the kings of the earth. Forever shall I keep him for my mercy and my covenant shall be faithful unto him, and I will establish his seed unto the ages of ages, and his throne shall be as the days of heaven. If his sons forsake my law, and if they walk not in the, in my judgments, and if my statutes they profane, and keep not my commandments, I will visit their iniquities with a rod, and their injustices with scourges. By my mercy I, will I not disperse away from them, nor will I wrong them in my truth, nor will I profane my covenant, nor the things that proceed from my lips will I make void. Once I have sworn my, by my holiness that to David I will not lie, for his seed forever shall abide, and his throne shall be as the sun before me, and as the moon that established forever is a faithful witness in the sky. But thou hast cast off and brought to naught, thou hast been wrought with thine anointed, thou hast destroyed the covenant of thy servant, thou hast profaned the sanctuary unto the earth, thou hast broken all his hedges, thou hast made the stronghold to be his terror, all have despoiled him that passed along the way, he has become a reproach unto his neighbors, thou hast exalted the right hand of them that afflict him, thou hast gladdened all his enemies, thou hast turned away the help of the sword, and hast not helped him in ba- battle, Thou hast made an end of his purification, his throne unto the end of the earth, thou hast cast down. Thou hast shortened the days of his time, thou hast poured down shame upon him. How long, O Lord, dost thou turn away unto the end? Shall thy wrath burn like fire? Remember what my substance is. Nay, hast thou created all sons of what of man in vain? Who is the man that shall live and see, not see death? Can he deliver his soul out of the hands of Hades? Where are thine ancient mercies, O Lord, which thou hast swearest unto David in thy truth? Remember, O Lord, the reproach of thy servants, which I have endured in my bosom for many nations. Wherewith thine enemies have reproached, O Lord, wherewith they have reproached the recompense of thine anointed? Blessed is the Lord forever, so be it, so be it. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, now to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, now to the ages of ages. Amen. Awit ninety. Tawinuan ni kawin ng aming tahanan ng dapos sa lahat ng salin dahil. 
Bapu nili ka mga bundo ko, bapu nili ka lupatang kalibutan, ikaw ay Diyos mula sa walang hanggan hanggang sa walang hanggan. Iyong ibinabalik ang tao sa labok at iyong sinasabi, bumalik kayo kayo mga anak ng mga tao sa pagkatangis ng libon taon sa iyong paningin ay parang kahapon lamang kapag ito'y nakalipas o gaya ng isang gabing pagbabantay. Iyong dinala sila na parang ba sila'y nakatulog, kinaumagaan ay parang damo na tumutubo. Sa umaga ito'y nananariwa at lumalago, sa hapon ito'y nalalanta at natutuyo. Sapagkat ang iyong galit ang sa amin ay tumupok at sa pamagitan ng iyong galit kami ay nabagabag. Nilagay mo ang aming kasamaan sa iyong harapan sa liwanag ng iyong mukha ang hilim na aming kasalanan. Sapagkat sa ilalim ng iyong buhod lahat ng aming araw ay lumipas na gaya ng gustong hininga ang aming mga tao na inagwawakas. Ang mga tao ng aming buhay ay pitumpong taon ng kung malakas kami ay walumpong taon. Ngunit ang mga ito ay hirap at kaguluan lamang. Ang mga ito ay madaling lumipas at kami ay nawawala. Sinong nakakaalam ng kapangyarihan ng galit mo at ng iyong galit ayon sa pagkatakot na marapat sa iyo? Kaya tiruan mo kami na bilangan ng aming mga araw upang kami magkaroon ng puso may karunungan. Nung balik ka, Panginoon, hanggang kailan pa sa iyong mga lingkod ay mabang ka. Butugin mo kami sa umaga ng iyong tapat na pagmamahal upang kami magalak at matuwa sa lahat ng aming mga araw. Kami ay iyong kasayahin ayon sa dami ng mga araw na iyong pagpapahirap sa amin at kasing dami ng mga tao na ang kasamaan na kita namin. Mahayag na ang gawa mo sa iyong mga lingkod at ang kalulatian mo sa kanilang mga anak. Sumaawin ang mga biyaya ng Panginoon namin Diyos at sa iyong itatag sa amin ang gawa ng aming mga kamay. O itatag mo ang gawa ng aming mga kamay. Psalm 91 He that dwelleth in the help of the Most High shall abide in the shelter of the God of Heaven. He shall say unto the Lord, Thou art my helper and my refuge. He is my God and I will hope in Him. For he shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunters and from every troubling word. With his shoulders will he overshadow thee, and under his wings shall thou have hope. With a shield will his truth encompass thee. Thou shalt not be afraid for the ter terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the thing that walketh in darkness, nor for the mishap and demon of noonday. Thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. But unto thee shall it not come nigh. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold, and thou shalt see the reward of sinners. For thou, O Lord, art my hope. Thou madest the most high thy refuge. No evil shall come nigh thee, and no scourge shall draw nigh unto thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. On their hands shall they bear thee up, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. Upon the asp and basilisk shalt thou tread. And thou shalt trample upon the lion and dragon, for he hath set his hope on me, and I will deliver him, I will shelter him, because he hath known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hearken unto him. I am with him in affliction, and I will rescue him, and glorify him. With length of days will I satisfy him, and I will show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, now to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. <clears throat> Twisted by the disease of sin, I lie on the bed of despair, O physician of the sick. Visit me in thy love for mankind, the most merciful and Sleep shakily in bed, but enable me to cry with all my heart to Thee, Bestower of mercy. O Lord, glory be to Thee. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Oh. Yesterday and today, yesterday and today, Lazarus is sick and his sisters make it known to Christ. Prepare thyself with joy, O Bethany, to welcome as thy guest, the Lord and King, and to cry aloud with us. O Lord, glory to thee, both now and ever, not to the ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Mother of God, rampart of, Christ, rampart of Christians, deliver us, thy people, who now and at all times call fervently upon thee. Make war upon our arrogant and shameful thoughts that we... That we Many cry to thee, rejoice, ever virgin. Again and again, please let us pray to the Lord. Lord of mercy, help us, save us, have 
dumb or right, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be unto all. And to thy spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. In those days Mary arose and went into the hill country with haste, into the city of Judah, and entered into a house of Zacharias, and saluted Elizabeth. And it came to pass, when Elizabeth heard the salutation of Mary, that the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Ghost, and she spake out of a loud, with a loud voice, and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And why is it granted unto me that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For lo, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in my ears, the babe left in my womb for joy. And blessed is she that believeth, for there shall be a fulfillment of those things which were told her from the Lord. And Mary said, my soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he that is mighty hath done great things, and holy is his name. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath done great things to me, and holy is his name. And Mary abode with her about three months and returned to her own house. Oh, do one. Glory to thee, O Lord, glory to thee. Oh, do one. Maawa ka sa akin, O Diyos, dahil sa iyong tapat na pag-ibig, dahil sa iyong sagarang kawan, ay pawin mo ang aking mga paglabag. Ibasag mo ako lubot sa aking kasamaan at tinisin mo ako sa aking mga kasalanan sapagkat aking nalalaman ang mga pagtuhay ko at ang aking mga kasalanan ay laging nasa harapan ko laban sa iyo sa iyo lamang ako nakagawa ng nagkasala at nakagawa ng kasamaan sa iyong paningin upang ikaw ay maging ganap sa iyong pagsasalita at walang duwi sa iyong pagatol narito ako ay pinanganak sa kasamaan at pinagli ako ng aking ina sa kasalanan Narito ikaw ay nagnanasa ng katutuanan sa panloob na pagkatao at isagong bahagi ay ipapakilala sa akin ng karunungan. Linisin mo ako ng isop at ako'y magiging malinis. Hugasan mo ako at ako'y magiging higit na puti kay sa nebe. Gawin mong marinig ko ang kagalakan at kasayaan. Ayaan mong mga buto na yung binali ay magalak. Kubli mo ang iyong mukha sa aking mga kasalanan at pawin mo lahat mong mga kasamaan. Luman ang kasa akin ng isang malinis na puso o Diyos at muli mong baguhin ang matuwid na, na spirit sa loob ko. Sa iyong harapan ay huwag mo akong palisin at ang iyong banal na espiritu sa akin ay huwag mong bawiin. Balik mo sa akin ang kagala ka na iyong pagliligtas at alalain ako na may espiritong nagnanais. Kung magkagay ituturo ko sa mga sumusuway ang mga lakad mo at ang mga makasalanan ay manunumbalik sa iyo. Ligtas mo ako, Diyos, mula sa salang pagdanak na dugo. Ikaw na Diyos ng aking kaligtasan at ang aking pili ay awit ng malakas tungkol sa iyong katwiran. O Panginoon, buksan mo ang mga labi ko at ang aking bibigay magpapayag ng pagkulit sa iyo. Sa pagkasala ay hindi ka nalulugod kung hindi ay bibigyan kita. Hindi ka nalulugod sa loob na sinusunod at ang mga ayon sa Diyos ay isang pagbag na diwa. Isang pagbag na at ng sisisig po sa Diyos ay hindi mo amakin. Gawan mo ng mabuti ang sayo sa iyong mabuti kaluguran ni sayo mo mga pader ng Jerusalem kung kayo malulugod ka sa matutuwid na alay sa mga andog na sinusunog at sa buong andog na sinusunog kung kayo yalog ang matoro sa iyong dambana. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit through the prayers of the Teotokos O merciful Blood of the multitude of our transgressions, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers of the Theotokos, O merciful one, blood of the multitude of our transgressions, have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions. Blood of my transgressions. Today, Gabriel announced the glad tidings to everyone who is full of grace. 
Sing, rejoice, O Mother unwedded, who knoweth not red love. Marvel not at my strange appearance, either is a Now that I am 
Glory to thee, O God, our God, glory to thee. Reach by nature, O Christ, thou hast by thy own choice become poor, and thou who feelest every living thing presentious as physically God hungry. I hunger for thy grace, O Lord of God, satisfy me and make me a partaker at thy table in the age to come. Most holy Theotokos, save us. We cry to thee, rejoice, O Theotokos, virgin full of riches, who has conceived our joy. Pray to God who thou hast born, that we all at all times sing thy praises to be delivered from danger and corruption. He now see that I am God who, when I was dwelling on the far side of the Jordan, heard that Lazarus was sick, and I said, he will not die, but this is for my glory. Mm. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Unity in three persons, single sovereignty. Kingdom ruling over the ages. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The multitude of angels and all mankind glorify thee. Both now and ever, now to the ages of ages. Amen. Who is not filled with wonder, O Virgin? <coughs> Beholding within the Creator, refashioning fallen Adam. Within the end, born from the end of earth, flesh for our salvation. Without undergoing change, through an ineffable union. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Prepare thyself now, O Bethany, and we joy make ready to receive the King of all. For we shall come to thee to bring the flatterers from the corruption of all right. Katabasha Tumpai, see now, see that I am God. By my own will was I clothed in Thy divine glory is 
punish those who hate me. And preach to me from the south into our fire, and I'll shake unto them crowns of glory. Thank 
within thy womb, you will start over all, and give us birth to the timeless Son, granting peace and love in Him. Most holy Theotokos, save us. I cannot understand the purport of thy words, for there have been miracles in great numbers, wrought by divine power, and the signs of the image of the Lord, yet never had the virgin giver without no man. Most holy Theotokos, save us, thou dost mark the most immaculate one, for she changes the, the wonder of it, for thou alone shalt receive the King of all incarnate in thy womb. Yea, the saying and distinct image of prophets, and the advice of the law prefigured hear thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. How can you not come to pain and invisible to no one? It is the soul in the virgin's womb. Which he has not created. How shall I conceive God the Word, who with the Father and the Spirit is equally without beginning? Both now, never, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. A promise was given to David, thine ancestor, that the fruit of thy lines would sit upon the throne of his kingdom. And God that chose thee alone, the beauty of Jacob, to be his reason and daughter of the nation. All things are filled with all thy divine glory. For thou, a virgin who has not known man love, didst contain within thy womb him who is God over all, and gave his birth to the timeless Son. Granting peace unto all who hear in thee. Prefigured the three day burial, the prophet Jonah free with the sea monster, cried out, Deliver me from corruption, O Jesus, the Most Most holy Theotokos, save us. At something the joy is out of thy word to me. I have been filled with divine gladness, for thou speakest joy and thus announced gladness without end. Most holy Theotokos, save us. To the earth divine joy be given, O Mother of God. To thee the whole creation cry out, rejoice, O Bride of God. For thou alone hast been called before Abraham, the mother of the Son of God, of you were one. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Let the condemnation of the people now be annulled. Let her death now be repaid by me. Through me let the ancient now be repaid in full. Both now, never, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. God promised thine ancestor Abraham that the nations would be blessed in his seed, O pure one, and though thee had his promise found, its fulfillment is made. The prophet Jonah, praying with his sea monster, Cried out, deliver me from corruption, O Jesus, King of hosts. Lord of mercy, now God save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord of mercy, Champion leader.
Yet behold, I cried out, Bless the Lord, all ye works of the Lord, and exalted supremely forever. Most holy, faithful, forsake us. Behold, the perplexity has been resolved. Gabriel said to this, For thou hast said, All that this is a matter hard to comprehend. Yet submitting to the words of thy mouth, Doubt not that this is true, but believe it. For rejoicing I cry, Bless the Lord, the Lord, Holy words of the Lord, And exalt him supremely forever. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. I think upon the multitude of my offenses, and I am pierced by the sting of conscience, and in my misery I lament through already in the flames of hell. Take pity on me, O word of God, in thy mercy. Glory to thee, our God. My soul is sick, and despair has brought me near to death. Come to me, O Jesus, I implore thee, for thy visitation gives light to those that call upon Most holy, may you call for save us. Save me and come to thee, the mighty yes. O holy Virgin, for thou hast born Bethany, home of Lazarus, rejoice, for Christ comes to thee and shall perform a mighty work, bringing Lazarus to life. <clears throat> Let us bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Lord. Be faithless, O Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Spirit, and we sing, O ye works of the Lord, blessed be the Lord. Both now and ever, now to the ages of ages, amen. We know mankind, we sing the praises of thine ineffable child Mary. O pure virgin, and honoring thy son as God, we praise and praise him without ceasing. Glory to thee, Lord God, glory be to thee. Preparing branches of virtue with which we will come, Christ, Christ. May the of the Lord bless ye, the Lord. We praise, we bless, we worship the Lord, praising Him supremely, exalting Him unto all the ages. Thy holy children sound Thy praises, O Christ. In the furnace, and they said, O ye works of the Lord, bless ye the Lord. O earth, announce glad tidings of great joy, ye heavens. Praise the glory of our God. May the hands of the profane in no wise touch the Theotokos, the animate our God, but let the lips of the faith Unceasingly chanting to thy of the angels, joyfully cried out, Truly thou art more exalted than all, O pure virgin. O earth, announce glad tidings of great joy, heaven, heavens, praise the glory of God. Conceiving God in manner past understanding, 
evening when our souls are in the city of Jerusalem, worshiping Him and singing His praise. Rejoice, our Savior, the Virgin has conceived and born a son, Emmanuel, who is both God and man, and our Tidings of great joy, the heavens praise the glory of God. May the hands of the prophet and the wise touch the Theotokos. The only breathe our call, God, but let the lips of the faithful, unceasingly chanting the cry of the angel, joyfully cry out, truly the Lord mercy of the devil, O pure strange and ineffable wonder for God who watches over the whole human race as man became a babe through her without seed O ye people tell forth the glad tidings of the restoration of the world the supreme commander of the angelic host was sent by God Almighty to the pure virgin to announce a strange and ineffable wonder for God announced for God who watches over the whole human race as man become a babe through her without seed O ye people, tell forth the glad tidings of the restoration of the world. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. The mystery of God, which was before time, is made known today. In His loving kindness, God the Word becometh the Son of the Virgin Mary, and Gabriel proclaimeth the joy of the Annunciation, and with Him we cry out to her, Rejoice, O Mother of the Lord. In the first stone, praise the Lord from the heavens. <coughs> praise the Lord, praise the Lord from the heavens. To thee is true praise, O God. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise Him in the highest. To thee is true praise, O God. Judges of the earth, 
Younger than her, her gyms, elder be the younger. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for exalted is the name of Him alone. His praise is above the earth and heaven, and He shall exalt the horn of His people. This is the hymn for all His saints, for the sons of Israel, and for the people that draw nigh unto Thee. Sing unto the Lord a new song, His praises in the church of the saints. Let Israel be glad in Him that made Him. Let the sons of Zion rejoice in their King. Let them praise His name in the dance with the timbrel and the psaltery. Let them chant unto Him. For the Lord taketh pleasure in his people, and he shall exalt the meek with its salvation. The saints shall boast in glory, and they shall rejoice upon their beds. The high praise of God shall be in their throat, and two-edged sword shall be in their hands. To do vengeance among the heathen, punishments among the people. To bind their kings with fetters, and their nobles with manacles of iron. To do among them the judgment that is written, this glory shall be to all his saints. Praise ye God in his saints, praise him in the firmament of his powers. Come on. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to the multitude of his greatness. Flying down to Nazareth from the vaults of heaven, Gabriel came to the Virgin Mary, coming to her, crying to her, Rejoice, thou shalt conceive us. Son is older than Adam, the creator of the ages, and the deliverer of those who cry to thee, rejoice of your one. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with the psaltery. The word who in a father is equally eternal and holy without beginning, without separating himself from those on high, has now come before those who below in his extreme loving kindness, take, taking pity on us for our stumbling. And accepting the poverty of Adam, he hath assumed a form alien to himself. Praise him with timbrel and dance, praise him with strings and Mary, glad tidings from heaven to the Virgin Gabriel cried aloud, Rejoice, thou shalt conceive in thy womb him who will be contained by thee, though he can be contained by naught. And in giving birth, thou shalt show forth him who shone forth from the Father before the day star, praise him with tuneful symbols, <clears throat> praise him with symbols of jubilation. Let every breath praise the Lord. The transcendent word hath made his abode within thee in the flesh, at the counsel of the Father, Virgin Theotokos, becoming like us, he hath restored the race which fell through the ancient curse. Wherefore, with the angel, we all cry out to thee with faith, rejoice, O Mother of God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Today is revealed a mystery hidden from before time begun, and the Son of God becometh the Son of Man, the taking upon himself that which is below him. He might bestow upon me that which is more so of life. Of all that I was deceived, and desiring to become a god, he failed. But God becometh man, that he might make Adam a god, that creation be glad, that nature dance. For the archangels and the men fear before the virgin and offer her his rejoice, that unto those who grieve, of our God who has become man in loving kindness, of thy mercy glory be to thee. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill among men. We praise Thee, we bless Thee, we worship Thee, we glorify Thee, we give thanks to Thee for Thy great glory. O Lord, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and O Holy Spirit, O Lord God, Lamb of God, O Son of God, that takest away the sin of the world, of mercy on us. 
Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For Thou only art holy, Thou only art the Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Lord of mercy. <clears throat> Every day will I bless Thee, and I will praise Thy name forever, ye forever and ever. Lord, of, Lord, Thou hast been a refuge in generation and generation. I said, O Lord, have mercy on me, and heal my soul, for I have sinned against Thee. O Lord, unto Thee have I fled for refuge. Teach me to do Thy will. For thou art my God, for in thee is the fountain of life, and thy light shall we see light. Mm -hmm. How continue thy mercy unto them that know thee. Watch safe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed art thou, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise and glorify this thy name unto the ages. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, Master, give me understanding of thy statutes. Blessed art thou, Holy One, enlighten me by thy statutes. O Lord, have mercy endureth forever, disdain not the works of thy hands. To thee is due praise to thee, is due a song to thee, glory is due to the Father and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening morning prayer unto the Lord. Lord of mercy. Thou must make unto the of God by thy grace. Lord of and bound fast by the cords of sin. Fallen into transgressions and bound fast by the cords of sin. Why art thou lost, O my soul? Why art thou careless? Flee at all times from the burning of the sickness. Hast thou fled from Sodom and Gomorrah? Turn not back, lest thou become a pillar of salt. Take refuge in the mountain of thy virtues. Run always from the flames that burn the rich man before he was merciless and cruel. With the steps of humility advance like Lazarus, and go down the with Abraham. Pray in my hope and refuge, O Lord, glory be. We were filled in the morning with thy mercy, O Lord, and we rejoiced and were glad in all our days. Let 
let us be glad for the days wherein thou didst humble us, for the years wherein we saw evils, and look upon thy servants, and upon thy works, and do thou guide our sons. We were filled in the morning with thy mercy, O Lord, and we rejoiced and were glad, and on all our days. Let us be glad for the days wherein thou didst humble us, for the years wherein we saw evils, and look upon thy servants, and upon thy works, and do thou guide her sons. The missionaries, martyrs, O Lord, imitated the life of the angelicals. With patience they endured the tortures, as though they had no body, setting all their hope in the saints of a promise, at their prayers to Christ our God. Grant peace to thy world, and to our souls great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let the heavens be glad, and let the earth rejoice, for he who with the Father is equally everlasting, equally without beginning, and equally enthroned, taking unto himself his loving mercy toward mankind, hath appointed for himself an abasement by the good pleasure and counsel of the Father, and hath made his abode within the virgin's womb, which was fully purified by the spirit of the wonder. God is a moment, the infinite heavens contained in a womb, the timeless one has entered into time, and what is more glorious than his confession is seedless. His appeasement is ineffable, so great is this mystery. For God doth empty himself and become incarnate, taking form when the angels make of his conception to the pure one, saying, Rejoice, O joyous one, the Lord is with thee, who hath reversed It is good to give praise unto the Lord and to chant unto thy name, O Most High, to proclaim in the morning thy mercy and thy truth by night. Banal na Diyos, banal na mga pangyarihan, banal na walang hanggan, mawaka sa amin. Banal na Diyos, banal na mga pangyarihan, banal na walang hanggan, mawaka sa amin. Banal na Diyos, banal na mga pangyarihan, banal na walang hanggan, mawaka sa amin. Walat isa matsa na ka sa Espiritu Santo ngayon at kailanman at magpas na walang hanggan namin. O kabanal-banalang Trinidad, mawaka sa amin. O Panginoon, linisin mo ang aming mga kasalanan. O Panginoon, patawarin mo ang aming mga paglabag. O sa banal dalawin at pagalin mo ang aming mga kainahan, alakalang sa iyong pangalan. Panginoon, maawa ka, Panginoon, maawa ka, Panginoon, maawa ka. Luwalhati sa mga at sana ka sa Espiritu Santo ngayon at kailanman at magpasawalang hanggan namin. Ama namin, sumasalangit ka, sambahin ang alan mo, mapasamin ang karyan mo. Sundin ang loob mo dito sa lupa para nang sa langit. Bigyan mo po kami ngayon ang aming kakanin sa araw-araw at patawarin mo po kami sa aming mga utang. Para nang pagpapatawad namin sa mga nagkakautang sa amin. At huwag po kami ipahin tulad sa tukso at iadyam po kami sa lahat ng masama. When I am the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever the two ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Today is the fountain of the bar salvation and the manifestation of the mystery which was from eternity. The Son of God become the Virgin Son, and Gabriel proclaim it the good tidings of grace. Wherefore we also cry to the day and help us with him. Rejoice thou art full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Have mercy on us, O God, according to thy great mercy, we pray thee, hearken and have mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. And for our all the brethren in Christ. Lord of 
Unto my words give ear, Psalm 5, unto my Lord, unto my words give ear, O Lord, hear my cry, attend unto the voice of my supplication, O my King and my God, for unto thee will I pray, O Lord, in the morning shalt thou hear my voice, in the morning shall I stand before thee, and I shall, and thou shalt look upon me, for not a God thou willest. Willest iniquity art thou, he that worketh evil shall not dwell near thee, nor shall transgressors abide before thine eyes. Thou hast hated all that work iniquity, thou wilt destroy all that speak a lie. A man that is bloody and deceitful shall the Lord abhor. But as for me, the multitude of my mercy, shall I go into thy house? I shall worship toward thy holy temple in fear of thee. O Lord, guide me in the way of thy righteousness because of mine enemies. Make straight my way before thee, for in, my, for in their mouth there is no truth, their heart is in vain, their throat is an open sepulchre, with their tongues have they spoken deceitfully, judge them, O Lord, Thou let them fall down at the, on the court of their own devisings, according to the multitude of their ungodliness, cast them out, for they have embittered thee, O Lord, and let all that be glad hope in thee, they shall rejoice, and thou shalt dwell among them, and shalt... And all shall glory in thee that love thy name, for thou shalt bless the righteous. O Lord, as a shield of thy good pleasure, as thou crowned us. Panginoon, ikaw ay naging aming tahan ng dako sa lahat ng sahin dahil bago nilika ang mga bundo ko, bago mo nilika ang upat ng sanibutan. Ikaw ay dun mula sa walang hanggan hanggang sa walang hanggan. Iyong binabalik ang tao sa labok at iyong sinasabi, bumalik kayo kayo mga anak ng mga tao sapagkat ang isang libon sa taon sa inyong panigili para kahapon lamang kapag ito'y nakalipas o gaya ng isang gabing pagbabantay iyong dinadala sila na parang ba sila'y nakatulog kina o magani parang damo na tumutubo sa umaga ito'y nananariwa at tumalago sa hapon ito'y nalalata at natutuyo sapagkat ang iyong galit sa amin ay tumupo ka sa pamagitan ng iyong galit kami na bagabag nilagay mo ang aming kasamaan sa iyong harapan sa liwanag ng iyong mukha ang iyong namin kasalanan sapagkat sa ilalim ng iyong puwad lahat ng aming araw ay lumilipas na gaya ng buntong ininga ang aming mga tao ay nagwawakas. Ang mga tao ng aming buhay ay pitumpong taon at pumalakas kami ay walumpong taon. Ngunit ang mga ito ay hirap at kaguluan lamang ang mga ito ay madaling lumipas at kami ay nawawala. Sinong nakakalam ng kapangyarihan ang galit mo at na iyong galit ayon sa pagkatakot na marapat sa iyo. Kaya turuan mo kami na bilangan ng aming mga araw upang kami magkaroon ng pusong may katarungan. Manumbalik ka o Panginoon hanggang kailan pa sa iyong mga likod ay mga bagka. Busugin mo kami sa umaga na yung tapat na pagkumahal upang kami magalak at matuwa sa lahat ng aming mga araw. 
kami ay iyong pasayahin ay sa dami ng mga araw na iyong pagpapahirap sa amin at kasing dami ng mga tao na kasamaan na kaysa namin. Mahayag na mga gawa mo sa iyong mga likod at ang kalwalatian mo sa kanilang mga anak. Sumahawin na mga ang biyaya ng Panginoon namin Diyos at iyong itatag sa amin ang gawa ng aming mga kamay. O itatag mo ang gawa ng aming mga kamay. The mercy and judgment will I sing to thee, O Lord, I will chant and have understanding in a blameless path. When will thou come unto me? I have walked in the innocence of my heart in the midst of my house. I have no unlawful thing before mine eyes. The workers of transgression I have hated. The crooked heart hath not cleaved unto me. As for the wicked man who turned from me, I knew him not. In that privately barked against his neighbor that I drive away from me. With him whose eye was proud in his heart and satiate, I did not eat. Mine eyes were upon the faithful of the land. They might sit with me. The man that walked in the blameless path to minister unto me. The proud doer dwelt out in the midst of my house. The speaker of unjust things prospered not before my eyes. In the morning I slew all the sinners of the land, and to utterly to walk out of the city of the Lord, all them that work in the city. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the age of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the age of ages. Amen. Somebody wants to know. Say, we go three. Some ninety, ninety. It is good. It is good to give praise unto the Lord and to sing and to chant to Thy name, O Most High. To proclaim in the morning Thy mercy and Thy truth by night, and on a psaltery of ten strings with an ode upon the ark. For Thou hast gladdened me, O Lord, by Thy deeds, and in the works of Thy hands will I rejoice. How great are Thy works, O Lord, exceeding deep are Thy thoughts. A mindless man shall not know, and nor shall a stupid man understand it. And the sinners spring up blood grass, and all that work iniquity look, look loftily down. Is it, that they may be, it is that they may be utterly destroyed unto ages of ages, but thou art most high forever, O Lord. For lo, thine enemies, O Lord, for lo, thine enemies shall perish, and scattered shall be all they that work iniquity. Lifted high as that of a unicorn shall be my horn, and mine old day shall be strengthened with rich oil. And mine eye hath looked down upon mine enemies, and mine ear shall, shall hear concerning the wicked that rise up against me. The righteous man shall flourish like a palm tree, like a cedar in Lebanon shall he be multiplied. There that are planted in the house of the Lord, in the courts of our God, they shall blossom forth. They shall still increase in, in a ripe old age, and happy shall they be to proclaim that upright is the Lord our God, and there is no righteousness in him. The Lord is king, he is clothed with majesty. The Lord is clothed with majesty, and he hath girded himself. For he established your will, which should not be shaken. That throne is prepared of old, thou art from everlasting. The rivers have lifted up, O Lord, the rivers have lifted up their voices. The rivers will lift up their waves, of the voices of many waters. Wonderful are their surgings of the sea, wonderful on high is the Lord. Testimonies are made very sure. Holiness become of the house of Lord unto length of days. The Lord is the God of vengeances. The God of vengeances hath spoken openly. Be thou exalted, O thou that judges the earth, render the proud their due. How long shall sinners, O Lord, how long shall sinners boast? How long shall they utter and speak unrighteousness? How long shall they speak all that they work iniquity? Thy people, O Lord, have they brought low into thine inheritance? Have they done hurt? Widow and orphan have they slain, the proselyte have they murdered. And they said, The Lord shall not see it, nor will the God of Jacob perceive it. Understand then, ye mindless ones among people, and ye fools at length be wise. He that plants the ear shall he not hear, nor he that formed the eye doth he not perceive. He that chasteneth the, the heathen shall he not rebuke. He that teacheth, he that teacheth man knowledge. The Lord knoweth the thoughts of men, that they are vain. Blessed is the man whom thou shalt chasten. O Lord, and out of thy laws shalt thou instruct him, that thou mayest give him rest from evil days until a pit be, until a pit be dug for the sinner. For the Lord will not cast off his people, nor will he forsake his inheritance until righteousness return to judgment, and all that are upright of heart be nigh thereto. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers, or who will stand up against who will stand up with me against the workers of iniquity? Unless the Lord had brought me help, my soul had well nigh sojourn in Hades. Whenever I said my foot had slipped, thy mercy, O Lord, brought help to me, help unto me. According to the multitude of my sorrows in my heart, thy consolations brought gladness into my soul. Let not the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which maketh mischief in the name of the law. It shall hunt down the soul of the righteous man, and the innocent blood shall they condemn. Yea, the Lord has become my refuge, and my God the helper of my hope. The Lord shall give back to them their own iniquity, and according to their wickedness, the Lord God shall make them to be seen no more. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever, and to the ages of ages, Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, glory to you, God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. For now and ever, and to the ages of ages, Amen. Come, let us rejoice in the Lord. Let us shout with jubilation to God our Savior. Let us come before his countenance with thanksgiving and with psalms. Let us shout in jubilation unto him. For the Lord is a great God and a great King over all the earth. For in his hands are, are the ends of the earth and the heights of the mountains are his. For the sea is his and he made it in the dry land. His hands of passion. O come, let us worship and fall down before him and let us weep before the Lord who made us. For he is our God and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today if ye will hear his voice, harden not your hearts as in the provocation in the day of temptation in the wilderness. For your fathers tempted me, they proved me, and saw my works. Forty years long was I grieved with that generation, and I said they do always err in their hearts, and they have not known my ways, so I swore, swear in my anger. They shall not enter into my rest. O oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, sing unto the Lord all the earth, sing unto the Lord. Bless his name, proclaim from day to day the good tidings of his salvation, declare among the, the heathen his glory, and among all people his wonders, how great for great is the Lord, and greatly to be praised. He is to be feared above all gods, for all the gods of the heathen are demons, but the Lord made the heavens. Praise and beauty are before him. Holiness and majesty are in his sanctuary. Bring to the Lord, you kindred to the nations. Bring to the Lord glory and honor. Bring to the Lord the glory due unto his name. Bring sacrifices and go into his courts. Worship the Lord in his holy court. Let the earth be shaken at his presence. Say among the nations that the Lord is king. For he hath established a world which shall not be shaken. He shall judge the people in up uprightness. If the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice. Let the sea be shaken, the fullness thereof. The plain shall be joyful in all, in all the things therein, and shall all the trees of the forest rejoice in the presence of the Lord. For he cometh, for he cometh to judge the earth. He shall judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with his truth. The Lord is king of the earth, rejoice, let the many islands be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him, righteousness and judgment are the establishment of his throne. Fire shall go before him, and shall burn up his enemies round about. His lightnings have shone forth throughout the world, the earth sighed and was shaken. The mountains, mountain like wax the presence of the Lord, the presence of the Lord of all the earth. The heavens declared his righteousness, and all the people saw his glory. And I'll be put to shame with worship graven images, uh, graven things that boast themselves of their idols. Worship him, all ye his angels, sighing, heard, and was glad. And the daughters of Judea rejoice because of thy judgments, O Lord. For thou art Lord most high over all the earth, thou art exalted far above all the gods. Ye that love the Lord, see to it that ye hate evil. The Lord preserve the souls of his saints. From the hand of the sinner shall he deliver them. A light hath gone forth for the righteous man, and gladness for the upright of heart. Be glad in the Lord, O you righteous, and give thanks for the remembrance of his holiness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and now, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O oh, sing unto the Lord a new song, for the Lord hath wrought wondrous things. His right hand and his holy arm hath wrought salvation for him. The Lord hath made known his salvation in the sight of the nations. Hath he revealed his righteousness? He hath remembered his mercy to Jacob, and his truth to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout with jubilation unto the Lord, all the earth. Sing and rejoice and chant psalms. He chant ye unto the Lord with a harp, with a harp, and with the voice of a song, with trumpets of metal, and with a choice. With the voice of trumpet of horn, shout with jubilation before the Lord our King. Let the sea be shaken, the fullness of the world, and all they, all they that dwell therein. The river shall clap their hands together. The mountain shall rejoice in the presence of the Lord, for He cometh. Yea, He has come to judge the earth, for He will judge the world. He will judge the world with righteousness and the peoples with uprightness. The Lord is King. Let the peoples rage. He sitteth on the cherub, herubim. The earth be shaken. The Lord is great in Sion, and He is high above all peoples. If we confess Thy great name, for it is terrible and holy, and the King's honor loveth. Judgment, thou hast prepared uprightness, judgment and the righteous and righteousness in Jacob has thou wrought. Exalt the Lord our God and worship the footstool of his feet, for he is holy. Moses and Aaron among his priests in Samuel, among them that call upon his name, they called upon the Lord, and he hearkened unto them in a pillar of cloud he spake unto them, for they kept his testimonies and his ordinances which he gave them. O Lord our God, that it's hearkened unto them, O God, that was fain to fain to be entreated for them. He took his vengeance and all their devices, exalted the Lord our God and worship at his holy mountain, for holy to the Lord our God. Shall with jubilation to God all the earth serve the Lord with gladness come before his presence with rejoicing know ye that the Lord himself is our God it is he that hath made us and now we ourselves we are his people and the sheep of his pasture enter into his gates with thanksgiving into his courts with hymns give thanks unto him praise his name for the Lord is good his mercy endureth forever and his truth unto generation to generation 
and generation of mercy and judgment will I sing unto thee, O Lord. I will chant and have understanding in the blameless path. When wilt thou come unto me? I have walked in the innocence of my heart in the midst of my house. I have no unlawful thing before my eyes. The workers of transgressions I have hated. A crooked heart hath not cleaved unto me. As for the wicked man who turned from me, I knew him not. Him that privily talked against his neighbor did I drive away from me. What, with him whose eye was proud and his heart and insatiate, I did not eat. Mine eyes were upon the faithful of the land. That they might sit with me. The man that walked in the blameless path, he ministered unto me. The proud doer dwelt not in the midst of my house. The speaker of unjust things, unjust things prospered not before mine eyes. In the morning I slew all the sinners of the land and utterly to destroy out of the city of the Lord all them that work in iniquity. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Today is the foundation, fountainhead of our salvation and the manifestation of the mystery, which was from eternity, the Son of God becometh the Virgin Son, and Gabriel proclaimeth the good tidings of grace, wherefore we also cry to the Theotokos with him, Rejoice thou who art full of grace, Lord is with thee, both now and ever, and and unto the ages of ages, amen. What shall we call thee, O thou that art full of grace, heaven? For thou hast done forth the sun of righteousness, paradise. For thou hast blossomed forth the flower of, of immortality, virgin. For thou hast remained incorrupt, pure mother. For thou hast held in thy holy embrace the Son, the God of all. Do thou entreat him to save our, our souls. My steps do thou direct according to thy saying. And let no iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the false accusation of men. And I will keep thy commandments. Make thy face to shine upon you, thy servant, and teach me thy statutes. Let my mouth be filled with thy praise, and I may hymn thy glory and thy majesty all the day long. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. O Lord, blotted our sins, O Master, pardon our iniquities, O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. We just stand into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, and the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever. Amen. To thee, the champion leader, to we thy servants dedicate a feast of victory and of thanksgiving, as ones rescued out of sufferings of Theotokos, but as thou art one with might which is invisible from all dangers that can that can be do thou deliver us that we may cry to thee, rejoice thou bright and wedded. Thou art all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth are worshipped. And, gl and glorified, O Christ, God, who are long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who loveth the righteous, and has mercy on, us, on sinners, who callest all to salvation, to the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour, and guide our life toward thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our, our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Comfort us about with thy holy angels, that guarded and guided by their array, we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thy unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou to the ages of ages, amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Lord, now and ever, and to the ages of ages, amen. More honorable than the cherubim, be beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. For without corruption gave us word to God, the word of very faith, help us thee to be magnified. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. God be gracious unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us and have mercy on us. Amen. O Lord, and master of my life, a spirit of my own that is fine with ambition and I will talk. Give me God. But rather a spirit of purity, humble mindedness, patience, and love bestow upon thy servant. Yea, O Lord and King, grant me to see my own faults and not to, to condemn my brother and sister, for blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Who enlightens and sanctifies every man that cometh into the world, 
Let the light of thy countenance be signs upon us, that in this we may see the unapproachable no. light, and guide our steps in the doing of thy commandments, to the intercession <laughs> of thy most dear mother, and of all the saints. Amen. To thee, the champion leader, we thy servants dedicate a feast of victory, and of thanksgiving as once rescued out of sufferings. O Deo, talk us but as thou art one with my patience invincible, from all dangers that can be, do thou deliver us, that we may cry to thee, rejoice thou bright and weather. Glory to thee, O Christ God, our hope, glory to thee. Lord, Lord, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, for now and ever, and to the ages of ages, I mean, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Father of bless. May Christ, our true God, to the intercessions of his most dear mother, and of our holy, the holy and glorious apostles, and of all the saints, and of the holy and glorious righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, have mercy on us, and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. 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 George Maximum joined us. Good night. <laughs>